because that still requires energy. Mm -hmm. I was able to focus away from the work and all this other stuff that I'm so easily able to do and just find the joy in sitting down for two, three hours, mm -hmm. folding clothes. Like, Are you scheduling joy in your life? I am, yeah, 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 I, I do. Every like day, every actually. Day. <laughs> yeah, every day? Yeah, right, give yeah. me an example. Yeah, yeah, well, I golf example. pretty much every uh -huh. day. Um, I, 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 like, I feel joy mostly when I'm in my, but when I'm not thinking. Mm -hmm. My mind is very analytical, so it's like when I can get out of it, I feel really good. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, every day I'm finding a way to like do some sort of um, like either playing basketball or golf. Mm -hmm. um, there was uh, I play video games when I want to every now and then. Mm -hmm. um, well, uh, decent enough, but like I wouldn't consider that. It's more like a habit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, absolutely. And I'm very intentional about not just scheduling joy because I have a theory that that is almost as it's like the second level <laughs> of of a of, i don't say anxiety but of like for me what the reality is is mm -hmm. that there it's better to be to have equanimity mm -hmm. so harmony. It, harmony harmony is what people so are going that for. is what i'm looking yeah. for now because i used to think it was fun and this and like mm -hmm. i want to do something that's fun i want to do something oh, no, i want to do that's dangerous yeah that, that, like, and that, that, that is what not, you're doing that's dangerous it's like hey that's not, that's not what fun looks or feels like like right. we we got this and right. this today and this right. is and i gotta no. do this and like i'm skipping that's not, out on that's this that's not what fun looks like no Mental health Monday. That was a bomb. That's that's funny because it's like I just care about you as a person. Yeah. So same, hearing that, same. I'm just like, damn, I'm proud of you. But like that experience, like we have I think we've had so much more of a look behind the curtain of what fame can do yeah. for people that I think a lot of us are now getting better at questioning, like, hey, man, are you okay after that? Do you that? want that? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Like, are you good after that? Yeah, Cause like, yeah, because it, it, is, it is a lot. Yeah. It's a lot, yeah. especially when you went from crying. Like, I cried mm -hmm. to my wife because nobody was coming to these yoga classes mm -hmm. that, you know, I was telling you about. And the next month, it changed. It's just flooded. Because I was and like, you, you let know people what? go. Yeah. So you may have been down, <laughs> folks, too. You had to like Figure reach out, out to other like, people. Hey, like, hey. You go. Or no, I did it all myself. Uh, oh, I did it all myself. Oh my I taught those classes myself. I did it all my because that was that was I had committed my life to it. Uh huh. And so it was an opportunity for me to do it full time. Mm -hmm. But that means that without booking. I didn't. I didn't pitch. I still am figuring out how to pitch a deck to somebody. Like it would just be coming. It can you fly here? You can you and I have so much to sit down and go over on the business end. But yeah. that's good. That's yeah. good that we had this yeah. convo. That's why I was like, I watch these shows to yeah. say like, hey, where am I tripping? Where yeah. am I? Where are my inadequacies? And like, are they a big deal right now or not really? Yeah. And I can just continue doing what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh wow, the cards ran out of space. That's beautiful. Anyway, let's do the intro. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, this has been such a great convo. Yeah. Anyway, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mental Health Monday here with my boy Brandon. What up, boy? What up? What up? What up? What up? Oh man. All right. So tell the people who you are and what it is that you do. Uh, my name is Brandon Copeland. I am a father. I am a black yoga teacher in the city of Washington D.C. and around the country. Um, and I am now someone who's figuring out how to have an easier and healthier life okay okay so 95 percent women mm -hmm. what does that number mean to you that's a I, that number is a sense of pride for me okay tell me tell me how come because i'm very intentional about the person that i am in the room when i teach yoga and it's very much so about being a safe space for women. Mm -hmm. And as a man, we are often the least safe spaces <laughs> for women. Yeah. And so in, in asking, I'm not teaching them to cook or to like fix a car or something, you know, I'm teaching them to, to be, to trust themselves. So even on a higher level, the fact that they continue to come back and trust me to then learn about themselves speaks to me to a, selflessness and a care that really I'm kind of like neurotic about ensuring it's happening mm -hmm. you know um, so much down to like I'm now realizing I've avoided like um, giving assists like I don't give a lot of assists I don't want to make women comfortable and I'm mm -hmm. realizing I'm limiting some of their growth by not 
giving them so, in certain ways. Not all women. Not every woman that you need to teach needs have an you assist. About have a woman assistant I have, help you out. I have. I have. But there's points like in mm -hmm. certain 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 poses. Like yeah, what I can do. Uh, I, I with the type of assists I do are um, verbal assists mm -hmm. and then like non-physical assists. So it's like if your knee is here, I'll be like, now touch your knee with my hand. It's like a voluntary thing. Mm -hmm. But when you get to a certain point, there are adjustments. There are things that I'm now noticing that even if I didn't do the assist because I don't do the assist, I'm now not paying as much attention. Like I'll notice, oh wait, this is a forward folding pose and I don't want to make this woman feel uncomfortable. But yeah. she does need to fold more forward to get the fullest extent of what this is. I could show her how to do that, mm -hmm. especially now that I know her, you know? And so it's like, and giving myself an understanding that you can, there are ways to be, f be direct that isn't assume like you're not putting your assumption on on things and making it an awkward situation so i always whenever i do give hands on assists i'm like is it all right if i give you an assist but what i'm realizing is that that okay is cool but you also need to know <laughs> you need to have practice yeah and so i'm at the point now i'm learning to practice and then to realize where and how i can instruct others to then you know be able to teach with that modality because i don't want everybody to have the hang-ups i have yeah. you know and the 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 worries that I have about what is, frankly, at this point, becoming more and more of a um, uh, stereotype. Like yeah. it's not what's true in my classes, so yeah. I don't have to be as afraid. You know, of, you may need to just that. have a different mode of operation. Like, yeah, if I've built a relationship with you after about a month or two, that's really what it is. Yeah, and you know, yeah, they should be comfortable with it and just yeah, give a disclaimer. Hey, after. A month or two of you attending the class just know when it comes to corrections we build relations and then after if i feel you need a physical adjustment, um, adjustment i got you but right. i'd like to build a relationship first right and, and just i have putting that on the forefront it's this and the reason that i'm saying that is because i've taught students for so long that i yeah. can see they need them yeah. and i'm like oh no you 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 need me to show you what this is compared yeah. to me saying and so it's like it's making me grow as a, as a teacher and as a teacher you can't fight the urge to grow it's a part of who you are right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely like, yeah, yeah, yeah. mental health is technically to me it's easy to be wrong but there's enough facts in your experience plus the people that i've worked with that shows us, hey, if you do these things like this, it can lead up to this. Here's why. Mm -hmm. Give me your pushback. Right. Because like when I have these discussions and we didn't get to experience that with the last event we did since we ran out of time and I had to go to work. But like I have the conversations with people because I want there to be pushback and I want there to be a conflict of opinion. So we mm -hmm. can either find a middle ground mm -hmm. or find, OK, what's in that person's environment? versus what's in my environment and is this affecting the solution we're all coming out to yeah yeah and i think that, that I mean, that's luckily what i get to do with with yoga but it's unspoken so mm -hmm. it's like i get to kind of see <laughs> that in people like i can see like you know, i'm gonna make you go real hard mm -hmm. and your body's gonna react and i'm not looking at whether you can accomplish it or not really i'm looking at how you handle that fact mm -hmm. and the wellness side of that for me is acknowledging the difficulty in a different way mm -hmm. what really you know it, well it's like you know that it's going to happen but you do what it takes in order to just be vulnerable with yourself right yeah. and, and give yourself that space the mental health aspect of it is a, a bit more mature and i'm mature but a little, a little bit more structured mm -hmm. in a way that i think what i now understand the practices behind how you practice wellness why you get up early in the morning why mm -hmm. you practice all the time why they have this kind of religious aspect around yoga that is the mental health part of it, mm -hmm. it they said no we designed this whole structure yeah. not just the yoga but like how you do it where you do it when you do it all of this because this is going to protect you you know in certain ways ideally right mm -hmm. this is going to protect you from having to go through the process of creating space for yourself to be well yeah right to have yeah. to 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 like i realized i play golf for my mental health mm -hmm. i'm playing for my wellness i play because you it gotta, gives me you gotta define that what for, as like mental an health. example of that statement so i know i when i 
everything's hot. Just letting you know. I just that's fine. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Yeah, I, yeah, I prefer Very it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So my my thing when I say for my mental health, like when I am consciously looking for a way to teach myself to uh, let go of anxiety mm -hmm. through a a plan, mm -hmm. right? Through like like the way that I play golf is like it's counterintuitive a lot of the ways to the way that you would expect in that I play with shorter distances like I try to in, enjoy the game and teach myself through mm -hmm. a way that I like to learn which mm -hmm. is learning I like the, like in the body and stuff like that I teach I use that game love, to go you relax love learning through experience through experience yeah. exactly and yep. so each time you go out and play it is for me an exercise mm -hmm. in maintaining a very you know slippery emotional space because you can be really happy one shot mm -hmm. and really so it kind of helps me kind of stay on the level as a practice i think when i'm in a position where i'm like anxious when i'm anxious or i need to to acknowledge that i feel a certain way and i need like a quick or like an immediate thing to do mm -hmm. that's where my yoga practice comes in that's okay. where you know it's more of a it's more of a i want to say salve medium there you go it's a medium for you it's a medium for me to kind of to learn what i need to do in order mm -hmm. to restructure an environment that is going to be more um conducive to having good mental health yeah you know? yeah so um, let me tell you why this is ironic and exciting mm -hmm. right um so after i did the speech that i did which was i took the hour convo i was going to have and i was like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you did really well. I said it really well. I was, I was into it. I was like, yeah, he's doing this is great. This is perfect. Yeah. Um, therapists and the mental health and health sphere, sphere period, mm -hmm. is terrified of the word liability. Yeah. That's yeah. why you don't see events that have a therapist leading a speaking portion because people are going to say, oh, that's therapy because a therapist is here. Mm -hmm. And it's like, all right, how would you define therapy versus therapeutic? Oh, yeah. Therapy. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's a great question. So therapy is surgery. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going in and fixing the issue. Therapeutic is like the south like it's the it's the okay yeah we know that your leg is broken like and we need to go back and re-break it and put it in the right place but for now we're going to give you this pain medicine mm -hmm. that's going to make you feel a little bit better you're not going to be necessarily ups you know you're not going to feel the exact injury but it's still mm -hmm. there and this you know? is from the definition of someone who practices wellness yes with a background like an education yeah yeah in psychology, psychology mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. now how i would define therapy versus therapeutic is Therapy is mundane, right? Mm -hmm. You go to enough therapy sessions until both parties between the therapist and the person start to become honest with each other mm -hmm. with either what the real issue is mm -hmm. or what the client would actually like to talk about that is closely related to what brought them there. there yeah. That means you're showing up in search of the problem or you're showing up in search of you need to tell me the solution, right. right? But therapists aren't allowed to tell you what the problem is, right. right? They're allowed to identify, here's what the actual issue is. Right. If you would like something different, mm. here's what you need to do to approach it, yeah. right? Now, therapeutic is more similar to an experience yeah. right, and yeah. a moment. Yeah, the right. Reason, the reason I say that is like, have you ever done an ice bath before? I have not. When you go into an ice bath, your body is in shock, yeah. right? And it resets. Yeah. And when you come out after doing this wild thing of ice and water, you're just like, oh, wow, I'm really refreshed. Yeah. Oh, people do ice baths because they want their body to remember what it's like to be refreshed. Uh -huh. So I have a better measure of when I'm not right. refreshed. Right, right. That's yoga. That's because, like yoga. Yeah. yeah because yeah. I've broken my body down from doing all these works, not paying attention to certain things. Mm -hmm. And ice baths more relate to like the muscle and how your blood flows, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. When it comes to yoga, 
you're stretching things out. Mm -hmm. So you're breaking down fibers, you're mm -hmm. breaking down all the built up acid mm -hmm. within your body. Mm -hmm. You also may be coming across a certain amount of kinks. Like, oh, yeah. I had a little knot in my back right, right there. I right? didn't even know that muscle existed. That means that you're yeah. experiencing something until you're so familiar with it. You're like, oh, that was therapeutic. Mm -hmm. I went through a process mm -hmm. and there's a stop. Mm -hmm. right. When it comes to therapy, right. You're not really sure about what the stop is. Yeah. You just know, hopefully, I've come closer to a solution on what the problem is right. and how we're approaching it, uh -huh. and you're readjusting your approach. That's why it's mundane. Right, right, right. Because something right, right. that's mundane doesn't come with excitement. No. Something that, that's mundane comes with an expectation of when you clock in at work, okay, I'm here. We know what we may have to do. Uh -huh. I know what I'm scheduled for, right. but I know what may happen while I'm on the schedule. Right. Therapeutic is, went on Six Flags, even though I know I've been on a roller coaster before, I'm going on a roller coaster with a different set of people. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a different interaction as I stand in line. Right, but yeah, you can feel right. the build. Yeah. And when you get through there, you're like, oh, sh and then when you get off, you're like, all right, let's go look at the pictures. Right. That's a moment. It was a moment, right? It's a, it's a feeling. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, that's, the reason that's important is now that I'm creating these spaces with you guys of bringing together wellness with therapy, mm -hmm. I'm asking therapists and therapists don't have to do what we're doing because what we're doing for a therapist is tech is technically finding extra time outside I'll say this like office. additional yeah it's like yeah. A, this like supplemental yeah but for the average person who's never taken therapy for the average person who's never been around people who've taken therapy or thought of therapy for themselves mm -hmm. I want to prepare them for what does it look like when there's a group of people that you can go to after you've had a therapy session and have the discussion of what you've discovered about yourself? Mm. So what we're making with the gray area isn't about right or wrong. It's about, hey, depending on your situation, are there a group of people who are willing to speak on that with you? Right. And can you feel supported while you're looking for what you think better should be. Right, So right, we're building right, the community Right, aspect. together as we all walk towards it, right. And the reason that's important is there's not a lot of community right now. No, there's not, it's, that's the thing. And it's not just a men thing. In it's, general. It's on both sides. Yeah, because I think it's spread COVID, kind of mm -hmm. spread people out, and I think the- It's happening in the world. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think <laughs> the in, the, in the state of where yeah. we are, and like yeah. just kind of how, energy and I you know, hate saying it like this but like I don't say hate saying it like this mm -hmm. but you're not as much experience it's uh, yeah but it, it's just energy like you just feel like with the war going on mm -hmm. and with just the way that we're interpreting politics now and like it's just a very interesting moment to be in what do you care about right now just in general like uh, what's your top three when I said the word care what are the top three things that um you family uh -huh. um I don't want to say politics, but I guess no, no, politics. No, just, just, I'm trying. Know. Yeah, it's a good, good thing for three. Family politics and where I'm, where I'm at personally, like and where my mental health where is. Personally, like so figuring, that's that's more about you. Yes, me, me, uh -huh. me reorganizing my perspective of what my life should look like mm -hmm. so that I can better approach it with a um, more zen attitude. Mm -hmm. With the you know, you see how one of those things you're directly related to family mm -hmm. right one of those things it's just you yeah, right yeah. me and that last thing politics it's what opinion's going to be out there that i need to be careful of when it comes to the things that i put together that i'm doing right yeah so that's that's a fear of how is this going to affect me yeah right yeah when my top three things right now is like hey man are we making enough guap yeah <laughs> right right right, right. We're money. The money right right, 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 right. If you make money you technically have more time to sit down and think, and think yeah. patiently about yeah. like what my next steps are. Mm -hmm. Your leisure time. Yeah. Then the other two steps are family, partner. Yeah. And not in that order. Just uh. family, partner. Uh. Family, directly connected to me. Mm -hmm. My mom calls me every other day, check in. Mm -hmm. I have another mom over in Atlanta. She calls me, hey, what's good? Mm -hmm. My sister's coming through later. We're about to have beef patties and catch up. Mm. A partner, she has a surgery coming up in February. Mm. Is everything set up the way that we need it to be? So like, can she move around a-okay yeah. while she heals? And I'm not gonna have folks around in February or March to do any shoots. Right, right, you know what right, I'm saying? right, 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 right. But it's like, the list is different 
and then when you meet people, yeah. like, oh no, we care about the same thing. No, no, the we list don't. It's different. The list well, see, different. it's the, for me specifically, uh -huh. which is why I said I didn't want to say politics, is because yeah. I work in government. Mm -hmm. My wife works in government. Yeah. So like when the shutdown happens, like mm -hmm. it's not just like a news story. I'm yeah. like, okay, I'm that's planning money. Right, I'm right. So it's like story. my yeah. So it's it's yeah. kind of like my money in a way, but what it's can also I take a risk on. You right, and where and and really where. Where am I being led? Because I have up like you know my business is with with wellness as well. So it's like I have opportunities to really kind of dig in either way, you know. <laughs> like and so it's more so figuring out okay where where is God leading me? Where is where is the next step presenting itself? Where is the brand that I've created leading me? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Where yeah. is it going? Yeah. yeah, and so it's like and that's why this event for me was monumental because I've been. I saw, I saw the language on the post. Yeah, it was yeah. real. It was, I mean, and that's why it took me a while to kind of post it because it's, it is a new, Chilling. yeah, right. It's a new, it's a new, it's like a new, it's like I've used this business to evolve my perspective and have evolved within this perspective. I created it at college, like when I discovered what the word Kepra was, I was like, oh, this is what we need. This is it. This define, is it. Define that word. Yeah, uh, Kepra. So Kepra is uh, the Egyptian god and concept. Mm -hmm. they're, they're anthropomorphized, you know, god of, um, of evolution. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the process of evolving uh, pure energy from chaos. Okay. Right? And so Ra, or the sun god, came from um, cha the chaotic um, set or like, you know, just moving of, um, of energy. So like, it's great because they tell the whole creation story like that is the big bang was also you and mm -hmm. and your life and moments and how these things happen and and my, the, the main concept is that from that chaos Ra or the sun evolved themselves right mm -hmm. he evolved himself and so my idea for our community is we don't need to in this and so the the my whole concept is um you know evolve yourself and um the revolution will be internalized you mm -hmm. know like it's something that we are going to have to Except that we, you know, have the ownership to be able to do. And I think it's amazing, like I said, coming to this event where as a man Total Truth. A total truth, right? Yeah. Total truth, sorry, sorry, total, total truth. No, no, don't apologize. Yeah, man, we'll just, yeah. we'll introduce it slow. We'll yeah, just, we'll just right. build a picture for them. Yeah. yeah, and coming to this event as a man, as a young man that came into this space. Not only say just leading women, but leading women in a modality that was more so catered to being a good leader of women. Define modality. Modality yoga, teaching yoga. So mm -hmm. teaching yoga, I teach yoga. And so in learning how to teach different types of yoga and different types of yoga to women in a way that isn't those things that I was as a young black man raised to not be, right? Mm -hmm. So predatory and, um, you know, figuring out how to be a stand up guy, you know? Mm -hmm. And I figured that out yeah. in a way, you know, I think my, you know, the impact that I've had in, in that community is, is, is pre apparent. And so. And that's a community that you're a part that of. That I'm a part of, right. Yeah. But specifically in the present, in black women's community, like seeing them specifically, mm -hmm. you know, um, feel empowered in the classes and, and really bring back mm, great feedback on it. Yeah. That for me is, is like, okay, that's what a man does. You know, I think that's what you're supposed to do is empower mm -hmm. and uplift the women in your community. And yeah. so it was specifically important to me that black women were taken care of, which is why we had other classes before this. But I did not find that there was much community of people like myself, which mm -hmm. were black men that were providing this space for black women and yeah. in a way that is vulnerable and figuring out these things and going to these classes. Like I was the only man and the only black person in a lot of the classes, but mm -hmm. definitely the only man, black, white, and yeah. different. And so it was really great for me now, you know, just a personal joy to be in a space where not only am I not the one who's just the visionary for these type of events, but I have four guys that I'm working with mm -hmm. that are all talented and all have gone down these paths in ways I never even thought about, you know? And mm -hmm. so it's like, it was just a real full circle, truly full circle moment mm -hmm. for me to be getting healed in the class that I couldn't have even imagined mm -hmm. to exist yeah. in a way that I was able to just really support, you know, and just be like, you know, like I know I get it's which was just really crazy because I'm gonna say it here for it's crazy to me mm -hmm. that people are just so enamored with what I've done or like you're like yeah you know like every time I go to yoga classes now they're like Brandon's here <laughs> and, I'm, <laughs> and I'm just like it's yeah, like guys, I'm me I'm yeah, just, I'm, yeah, just, I'm, me. Just, like, I'm just the dude yeah. like you know yeah. like I am the dude like I am literally the mm -hmm. big little mouth like I'm just the guy and like everybody just 
They really are. I, I just, it's it's weird how you have to create room for, for blessing, where you just yeah. like, I do, I am grateful for this. And there is, I don't know how mm -hmm. to take it sometimes, but yeah. I do know that I'm led into spaces like the one that we created and I'm and blessed to be able to grow, like you said, with where my business is taking me now, mm -hmm. you know? And so it's like, now I'm like, okay, we got to do talk, sound, bad. Like I have to do, I have to incorporate all of these things. I didn't wasn't able to necessarily facilitate mm -hmm. but i can manage i can you yeah. know and and his last thing the beautiful thing for me is i can pay i can pay other people i can say hey juice what's your what's your rate mm -hmm. now don't cut it what's yeah. your rate yeah, and pay rate? you yeah right and because i understand because i came to understand how that's how business works it's mm -hmm. not about money and figuring out the money your money has to go into your business which sounds very simple mm -hmm. but as an entrepreneur it can be easy to to lose it's not simple when you have to put food on the table exactly the and food gets taxed yeah. i don't think if anybody knows like yeah. food is what gets yeah. taxed you can make anything else a business expense yeah. food is what gets taxed and so you're feeding your family mm -hmm. trying to make this space and you get split and so like yeah so it was it was really great to me that i didn't even have to do much mm -hmm. but was able to say like when we needed to pay for this or pay for that i was able to be like okay cool like i've created an environment where this makes sense yeah and then yeah. everybody uh understanding their role mm -hmm. in everything that we put together i think that was really important because like right now i've done this concept before right yeah or, you yeah, yeah you and yeah y'all yeah, came Bo up with it no yeah. before Britt approached me i've done the concept oh really okay i, I didn't want to give it a name i wanted to i'm very much like hey I want to do the thing, yeah, and I want someone to copy what I'm doing and do it in their community yeah. and let me know, hey, how's it working? How's I'm like it not that. working? I'm like that too. What are you running into? Yeah, yeah. So I can know, like, hey, should we do work together? Mm -hmm. Do you need advice? Are you guys fine by yourself? Mm -hmm. Are you doing it correctly for your community? Yeah. Because there's a lot of, I I don't like the word community, even though I'm gonna be. I know what you mean. Community. Yeah, no, I understand what year, you mean. Right? I understand what you mean. <laughs> right? Because it's and like it's, it's it's loose now. It's a word that has not only been overused. Yeah. That may be one of the oldest words that's been used before all this wellness and mental health. Oh, community. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. When you think of hip hop, absolutely. yeah, right. He, the the community. Community. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, community. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right, right. right. They need to pull up. Right. What is support? My right. full support. That's why that's and used instead of black people now. It's like the community. <laughs> like, like, have you ever pulled up to support someone? Do you yeah. know? Do you know what showing up for people? Yeah. Looks like? So have you ever checked in with them? I want, and I was just yeah. talking to Royce about this yesterday. Where I want to start doing these, or I'm going to start doing these things. That maybe in in conjunction with what you're talking about. I'm not sure. If yeah, just let me know. But just like, but say that I want to hear first. The yeah. idea is like a, a listserv of people. Mm -hmm. And the idea is that the, the point of the listserv is that every week we have some random mm -hmm. person's thing <laughs> scheduled mm -hmm. yeah. and we all agree to go to this person's thing. Mm -hmm. And then to get on to the list, you mm -hmm. join the listserv, maybe invite a couple people, whatever. Yeah. But it's just a rotating list of the community's the same. There's a lot of people mm -hmm. and we go support this biking class or mm -hmm. we go support this thing so that you get, so that the point is not so much do you want to come to this thing I'm interested in? Mm -hmm. But the point is, one, showing love to that person. Because I know what it's like being Schedule in a yoga support. class. Yeah, it's like, I know what it's support. like to be in a yoga class. And everybody I see is like, oh, I love that. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, I can tell you the like 10, 15 people I know from my own inner circle of people mm -hmm. that just pop up at an event and you're just like, wow, you really see me. Like, you really can. <laughs> you know, you know they yeah. like your posts and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And I thought about that recently. Like I went to Twan's class mm -hmm. and was just like, I did, I'm like, damn, like that is really my job. Like, like I said, they're introducing me in the class. Like this, mm -hmm. this nigga's here. I'm like, man, I just you're literally on a Tuesday. You're, you're an yeah, I'm just on a Tuesday. Yeah. I just decided to go and I'm like, I could do so much more doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, than like trying to be this. I, don't know, I always downplay that. I've done work in that. I was going to say, it's, give yourself credit. It's decent. It's yeah, yeah. I mean, you, that's you cool. showed up. Yeah. You've built things. Yeah. People want to make sure you're a part of conversations. Yeah. 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 And, and personally, it is your job to say no. Yeah. For you, no is more important than yes. It is. Because, like, you still have a family. Yeah. You still have folks that want you to be present mm -hmm. after you've done all these amazing things. In right. The yeah. Yeah. Um, you still need sleep. Yeah, that's and what I'm. That's time. that's what I'm learning now. Yeah, I need, need some sleep. help with that. Somebody gave yeah. me a book that I'm going to read. It's Rest is Resistance. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard. I didn't know anything about it, but I was thinking in 
how I've shaped this business yeah. and where it's taking me now mm -hmm. is the opposite of kind of what I started with. Like, if you see my page and stuff, so handstands and just like this extremely athletic, like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm and showing you. And you're built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And what I'm showing yeah. you, like I built this through pain. Like mm -hmm. I had to I had to sit here and figure out why do I want this so much? You know, like, and like all of that mental anguish that I kind of, and in trying to be this leader, I think, amongst not only black people, but like I said, especially in black women mm -hmm. who are 95% in my class, it mm -hmm. needs to show, you know, I need to, I'm trying to show you that this is what it is. And I think that what I've realized is like Animal Farm, like I'm like the horse where I'm just working <laughs> and just working and work and think that the value is the work. And then the, in the, in that story he dies and like is Ooh, heralded jesus and, yeah the horse Orbit. Yeah, yeah yeah the horse dies but honest, working but honest, yes yeah. and, that, and i realized i'm like that is as the if 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 you believe that there is some leadership in patriarchy in black society mm -hmm. there where, where it should be we look at it like that like who is the most capable of taking pain mm -hmm. like who is the most able to you know digest this horrible condition we're in, but then also not necessarily express that as fully, you know, like as you as you should. And so it's just, I don't, I'm finding now that like the, like that rest is resistance is a huge thing for me because I've shown you how to make yourself a tool to mm -hmm. deal with all of these things. Yeah. Now I would like to show you how to remove yourself from the drawer. So <laughs> and not, you know, be as involved. Off of that point, I look for who is most capable of creating moments of joy mm. and how much less are they paying to do that in comparison to me. Mm. So let me tell you a story. This is an ironic full circle moment. I just shot a video about this last night because on the YouTube side, there's like certain things where I don't put on Instagram because I'm like, look, if you mess with me and you come to the page, you'll notice that I'm building other things that aren't on social media mm. because like sometimes you have to give things to one thing, yeah. not to see if it's successful, just to see who's paying attention on a different brand. Hey, I'm over here. That's where you put your stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And when I first started Get Home Safe with the original crew, which were my homies, we were overworked and underpaid. Yeah. Like, uh, a lot of my homies don't understand that we've never broken even on anything that we did, clothing-wise. Yeah. So, we did... 17 events we did events in philly and dc and everything was coming out of pocket for the airbnb mm -hmm. coming out of pocket to travel coming out of pocket to sometimes rent out certain establishments mm -hmm. but people did get therapy right but after a while you get to the end of the year it's like wait yeah so we accomplished <laughs> what we wanted i know what that's right? like we got to the numbers like, we, we we got yeah. to our goals yeah why does it why do i feel so worn and torn like i've been in a storm yeah and it's like this thing you're putting together at the community shouldn't come at the sacrifice of yourself because you are a part of the community that's true so what are you doing to create moments of joy and i don't mean you're just laughing with your folks i mean truly moments of ah i woke up fully rested i'm not stressed about the post for social media right i'm having lunch and I have this meeting about this event that we're put together. If we don't get the space, we don't feel guilty right. for not getting the space, yeah. right? Um, we made a couple of sales and shirts, but you know, in order to get the shirts done, you have to save up money. And now that you have these shirts, it's becoming more about marketing for people to purchase where it's like, no, people are supposed to choose what they want. Hmm. You can't be the person who creates the safe space and hmm. the moment of joy for people. And when everything's done, you said, all right, man, so you're going to buy my book. Right. You're going to buy my shirt. <laughs> yeah. Look, that's what, look, I have a box full of shirts right now uh -huh. that I'm like, I've mentioned in classes and stuff. But I just don't feel comfortable. Mm hmm selling them but what i what i realize is you just like you say you got to give them the choice you got to so give them the choice hold up the shirts put right. them on the table put yep. a sign up that says you can buy a shirt if you want and just shut up no no, no. <laughs> take it a step further yeah just wear it yeah we're yeah. in so much confidence yeah. in the folks that are working with you that folks are like hey man i see everyone has the shirts on man where, where can i get one of these shirts yeah. how can i support how can i do it yeah boom that's it yeah because 
now we're at the point in our lives and our career when it comes to mental health and wellness and the communities that we're working on where like I want the choice on whether I'm spending money on you. So right. you have done such a good job in either posting consistently or the content you've created relates to me so much. I see the clothes you're wearing and I don't see it anywhere. So that means you're the one that's producing mm -hmm. it. Who do I pay? Right, right. How can I get my hands and on And you that? just leave that open. Can, can I get it shipped to me? Right. Thank you. Right. And I don't want the conversation. I want to feel I've supported you. Right. And yeah. that's what it is. So yeah. like, I don't know if you looked at the hoodies when you yeah, came in. No, I had All these boxes it. of hoodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I right? saw you a lot. I was like, what you got going on? This, this <laughs> is the, everything you see, bags, all, yeah. these, this is all clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That's what I thought, yeah. So, I just did a hoodie drop. It's called Bad Bitches United. Okay. It's literally okay. a campaign yeah. towards men and self-care and men being more intentional about self-care, okay. right? But, for everyone who I'm working with right now, I don't know if they're comfortable with associating that with their brand. Okay. For Britt, he's not. I get why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Britt has you his brand. Is, Fox News. Yeah, right. You know he's he's in that period. Yeah, I was in that Right now, you're in a very sensitive, like, mm -hmm. hey, you're, you're building. I can't wear everything. Yeah, you're building. But I do know yeah. when I come out with the myself, my care, everyone's going to say, fine. oh, that's easy. Yeah, he's fine. But I don't got to worry about that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, get home safe? No, that's fine. We can wear the hoodies. We can wear the shirts. Right, yeah. I have a campaign I'm going to be working on called I am community with people sharing their stories. Okay. I am therapy with people sharing their stories. That's cool. I am wellness with people sharing their stories. Yeah. You're literally one of the people, yeah. right? I'll be here. <laughs> and the reason that makes sense is we are already doing the work. Now you need to start building narrative to the story, right. which adds to relatability. And you start putting it out there. And folks are like, hey, you guys are all in the class. We're in these community shirts. Where can I get my right, community right, I need shirt? one. Yeah, right? Yeah, right, 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 right. But... We're not selling it. It's a part of the work we're already doing it. Uh -huh. We're just giving everyone access to it. And that's how I treat everything that I do. Huh. So you, Every single thing that I do. So what do you mean? Like you're not selling I'm it? I'm never like, asking you, hey, are you going to buy Oh, you're not actively shirt? selling it. Yes, but everyone you can get it. Everyone is talking and they keep yeah. looking at the babish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Myself, yeah. my yeah. care. Get home yeah, safe. Yeah. Hey, man, so where can I get one of those? Yeah, and then you just do it through the word. And that, I yeah. think, makes the most sense. I think yeah. that makes the most And that's why. It removes guilt. Yeah. It removes you have to think about yeah, it. Yeah, and you don't. Focus on what you're focused on. Yeah, and you know, yeah. and it's and it's open. I mean, it's it, what I found is that with these social enterprises really you know, mm -hmm. that we have yeah you cannot sacrifice one you can't sacrifice the money you need to make to be operable mm -hmm. but you can't sacrifice the, the process yeah. either you can't yeah. make your job stressful yeah. <laughs> by like you said like you like you're hey, you're trying to heal the community you cannot you're make focused. that something that's stressful to you yeah it feels like you're switching to a different energy and yeah for yeah. but we're not allowed to go broke. You know, we can't. I'm not, I'm not going broke for anybody. It's capitalism. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> like not going broke for anybody. It's going right? to happen. So it's a gonna way to, to pay do my it. Bills. I'm yeah. going to be able to work on other events. Yeah. If we need to come to the table, hey, have I been raising the money that's necessary for what we're doing as a group? Yeah. And if not, who else is going to pay us for this amazing thing that we're doing right. and positioning ourselves as such? Yeah, or do we have to take time? That's what I realized uh -huh. I did with COVID yeah. that my business allowed for is to take the time. Like It's like, no, nah, I can't do this right now. So yeah. it was like two years where I wasn't really doing much of anything. I do stuff when people hit me or whatever. But it's like, when you have, what I've found with this business, this business is mine. It's like, it's it's personal. Mm -hmm. So as good, it'll be as good as I am. So like when we talk about the mental health, like yeah. that's why it's important for me. Like I took a shower before I came here and mm -hmm. made sure I was mm -hmm. in the right, like, mm -hmm. I'm stopping at Starbucks. You're like, you know I'm I'm chilling. Chilling. I got to do what I got. Hey, hey, do you want something? Right, would I, you, got right, you. Right, I got you. Would you like something? <laughs> because what I found is like, if I don't take, if I don't go slower and produce mm -hmm. the shirts at a slower pace than they could have been or produce mm -hmm. the, the 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 podcast at a different time or say hey now nah, Brett we need to skip December let's do January mm -hmm. if I don't do that I'm gonna burn out and this is none of this is gonna work yeah and I'm not or, gonna be able to help anybody help others or we set a schedule and we stick to that schedule mm -hmm. and we don't like out we don't let outside uh, influences yeah change things right it's yeah like yeah when you're building something that's new the reason people want consistency mm -hmm. from anybody they show up to is because in your world as an adult if you see inconsistency it's not important yeah you we're gonna treat the thing you're making as important as you treat it 
Right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that is very true. That is very true. And right. if you don't give people the chance to do that because you're yeah. frazzled and all over the place and don't yeah. have any type of understanding of what your motivations are or what your fears are or whatever, then you can want and even I've done it, gain success. Mm -hmm. But it's all for not like you're not really able to manage, handle, maintain, produce, mm -hmm. share that with other people. Yeah. And, and, I, so, and that's what's no, you're about to finish the thought. Oh, yeah, I was saying that's, yeah, that's, I mean, that's just kind of where I'm trying to get to now is realizing it's not about collecting mm -hmm. all of this, these accolades, but being able to be the best pass through so we all can get yeah. to the next place. Yeah. You know? And for me, I, what I like about us being in a group, and I'm very, I... <laughs> I'm very honest with mm -hmm. everybody. That's like, yeah, I like, I like, I do like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah whatever. Just my being a group, like, nah, no, like, I don't like that. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not gonna. Yeah, but yes, you know. I'm not gonna bogart something. Right? No, so like, no, you have measured much, responses. Yeah, very much like, if we have changed the decision that we all agreed on, right, like a month ago, mm -hmm. and like a month and a half later we changed the decision, I'm very much. If I'm the last vote, three people in the room have already voted whatever they voted and everyone's on the same page i don't want to create pushback when we're already working towards we're moving something, in that direction right? yeah you now everyone has been a little bit more honest a yeah. month and a half later yeah, yeah. they say hey man here's what's changed made this observation we'd feel more comfortable doing that and even if i disagree i'm like yeah but now they're more honest so they're different yeah right, right. that's what you mean a month and a half yeah, ago yeah all right, this is good. You know what? For the room, because we're doing this and we're starting this from scratch, let's stick with this decision. Right, yeah. Because, like, what that means is when we show up, we're going to be happy with the decision that we've we made. Made. we made. We have norms. we're going to deliver. Yeah, 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 norms. And, like, you need to learn people. Um, yeah. In a couple of the events that I've done with uh, Brit, public speaking wise, I've let folks know. Britt and I aren't that close. We are working on getting closer. This is yeah. a recent relationship that we're working on, yeah. and that's okay. We're here for the community, and we work on our own stuff privately, mm -hmm. but all relationships, whether it's old or new, they take work. Yeah. yeah. So look at where work has gotten us. Work has gotten us to the point, you guys want us to come in and do these wellness and mental health talks with you guys. Right, yeah. And I'm a mental health advocate, not a therapist. I'll connect you with a therapist. Right, but I'm right. I'm an advocate, advocate for, which yeah. means I am consistently doing the work. I'm consistently doing these sit-downs. I'm learning about different things and I'm sharing it with you guys. Say, hey, you guys might be missing a point. Here's why. Mm -hmm. So, the room's getting bigger. Mm -hmm. Now that we've brought you guys in, I'm very much like, hey, is this something that, uh, parameter-wise, I'm like, we shouldn't do January, we shouldn't do December, so we always have two months to decide to chill. Mm -hmm. And we, like should, we should do everything that we can between February to the middle of November, yeah. and we're like, hey, we did a good job. All right, that's you good. What I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then figure out, like, hey, is this something that we want to do every other week and just do 12 events, just have a number of 12, mm. because, like, you already teach your all women classes. Mm -hmm. If you want to protect yourself from burning out, you don't want to shackle yourself to a concept. Yeah. You want to be able to say, I have served the concept and here's the seasons that we would like to bring Damn. this to life. That's a big one. Ooh, shackle yourself to a concept. Because wow. for me, That's what I'm great. doing with yeah. you guys, <laughs> That's real. I have two other versions of it I'm doing. I'm working on spaces with all women. Uh -huh. Because See, as I want to do that next too, yeah. I'm not allowed to just be happy that I accomplished. No, you got to keep going. Yeah, I have to keep going. That's the whole job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have to look at what rooms am I not in and do I have the energy and the capacity to apply myself there correctly? Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm already working on women, um, rooms with all women and I've reached out to my folks who are therapists that are women and say, hey, I'm working on this thing. Do you want to be a part of it? Mm -hmm. I already got one to say yes. I got the other one. She's waiting in the rafters, mm -hmm. right? For the all men, who are the two men therapists that I can get involved with what we're doing and this is what we're looking to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Co-ed. Mm. If you put the rooms together, what is it, it gonna like? is it gonna become Twitter? Yeah. Or are we gonna be honest about where our perspectives differ? And I facilitate we all have a real open discussion and we actually work towards things. Mm. Or we can agree to disagree without disrespecting and violence. Right. I think that, that I'm really intrigued in that because I, I get so... Mm -hmm tired of these discourses online and places and there it's funny you realize those discourses are 
they're real and they come from a real place. Yeah. But that's not the only experience or opinion. Right. That's, that, that's not all there I, and is that's, to life. And that's why I say I don't, I guess I dephrase that. I get tired of the angle that they come in. Yeah. I like the discourse. I like talking about black men and, and women or women, men and women in general. I think there mm -hmm. are different perspectives, different ways of looking, yeah. different understanding. And I've learned as to why my wife thinks the way she thinks mm -hmm. or why I think the way I think. Damn, that's backwards or that's something we need to stick to or they were right you know and they so i i like this subject of conversation it's just like i like hip-hop you know but like yeah. when you make it all drill like it's like okay like like yeah like, <laughs> like you know like it's like, like so right. everything's drill huh? yeah, like, it's like, yeah like, like the whole like it's like nah wow. and it's like no nah, i know well, that really there's other the things right, now. right yeah. there are other things we could be talking about mm -hmm. and so i think that i'm I'm interested in exploring those conversations yeah. because there is a, what I did realize in our event was black men and, and we're just as vulnerable and we're just as, we're not vulnerable. I said, we're just as sensitive. We have just as many of these needs that we don't address. We are just as sensitive, but we don't want to explore our own sensitivity. Right. So we're less vulnerable, really, yeah. is my point. Yeah. We, we need we vulnerability. Want, we want to answer the solution. Yes. And it's like, what yeah. if I told you the sentence structure is yeah. actually more important than the solution? Right. right. Right? right. Another way of saying that is, hey man, are you paying attention to the actual journey? Right. Are you so busy running that the finish line is the only thing you have that to you think about? That you can see, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, yeah. And so, I don't know. I think that that has that for me. Even just alone, like you said, the finish line. You know, you can see like that has made me realize like I am not really. I don't have to be as stressed as I am. And it's like, you look especially at, now that you have the right people with you. Yeah. What's so you, what do you mean? Us, like oh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you can sure. bounce ideas off of us. You could, you could, you could have a hey guys, just ask in the chat, am I tripping? Yeah, right, like, right, right, right. Because right. like we don't want this to just be business. No, yeah, no, no we, no. we want this to be actual relationships outside of hey, did we get everything together for this next event right. that's coming up? And you realize you have to learn how to do that. Mm -hmm. You get so used to. It takes practice. It takes practice, and it takes vulnerability, and it takes self, especially in this arena, because everybody that you meet wants to you know do something better or build or whatever but people have different work ethics they have different capacities they mm -hmm. have different responsibilities they different have different forms of communication different forms of communication some which people is are better with email yeah better with text message Person. better with phone calls yeah certain people that i do work with i usually put like call that's it yeah you, you know exactly who you're gonna get they're, yeah they're gonna see the text and i respond yeah. call yeah. I text yeah you could trust yeah. them with a text yeah and it's fine yeah, yeah. um for example our boy salvo hey He's the call person. Yeah, you, got, you call. gotta call. You call him. There's nothing wrong with that. That's just that's his form of communication. Yeah. And like he his spirit that he portrays isn't just when he's serving the community. Mm -hmm. That is who he that's is. That's who he is. Yeah. <laughs> right. that's so when funny. when you get when you receive someone who is so warm in their presentation mm -hmm. and who they are and they're so patient. In every single thing that they're saying, mm -hmm. your approach needs to match their energy. Their energy, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you expect, and, and that's really the place I've come to understand with this business mm -hmm. and being a leader in this. Yeah. Is that it is not my job to shape people's energy and try to make things happen. Yeah. <laughs> it's more yeah. so like, no, I made this thing, mm -hmm. so how can I help you do what this thing is supposed to do, you know? Also, especially if you're worth my time, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's great if you're worth my time. If you're not worth my time. How do I say no? Yeah. Yes. But how do I not take it personal that yeah. we've wasted time on Yeah, me? yeah, yeah. yeah. You I've have to accept that with people. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, you, and what you learn is you don't take on as much stuff. You don't give yourself this ego of I have to have 40. I have to. I, have to, I, have to, he, I mean, the black community needs at least six classes a week. It's mm -hmm. like, hey, man, you can only manage two. Did the black community ask you that person? Right, right. Like the black community exactly. had a committee. You said, right, hey, man, we need 40. What right, the hell are you doing? All right, we'll see right. you on Thursday. Right, right. <laughs> at 714. Yeah, you know, and so you start to realize, like, no, I'm, I'm putting this pressure here, mm -hmm. instead of being grateful for what I already have. Yeah, and 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 so my thing now is not it is certain certain types of more classes, but it's more for me. It's more like, what is it? How is this going to be effective? So mm -hmm. like doing like 
For instance, instead of committing to, okay, I'm doing this on Thursdays now, I'm just going to have a Thursday a virtual class mm -hmm. for a month. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah and test it out. Just test it out. Yeah. And so, like, having that freedom and understanding that there is no inline, there is no, like, success mm -hmm. outside of it happening, which is successful. You're, you're supposed to define that. Yeah, exactly. Also, which exactly. no one ever tells us. When you start yeah, this no, thing, you think that it's how like you, how you million. define success yeah. is what you should stick to, yeah. not what everyone is congratulating you for, right. yeah. whatever you define success by. Yeah. And you also have to hold the hand of the inner child in you and say, hey, we didn't, we didn't meet our own requirements. Mm -hmm. How do we learn to be okay with what we see this brings in yeah right? yeah yeah sometimes sometimes the thing doesn't need to be tweaked sometimes you need to accept this is what success looks like for this thing and it's okay in that shape right right and i'm not that thing is something else you realize in yeah. that process it's like yeah like i love trap yoga but i am not trap yoga mm -hmm. i am not that's not yeah. <laughs> it's not who i am yeah. it is a thing i've done it it's is something moment. i've created it's a moment it's right a moment. and it's cool and yeah. it's so and it's funny because i've always kept an understanding of that mm -hmm. even as like the hype comes and i can see how these guys get swept away and become like like super pastor weirdos you know like i can see that i can understand i grew up in a baptist church mm -hmm. too so it's like with like the pastor like you know i know these guys and so like you can just see how one mm -hmm. starved as a community i think that we are of true leadership mm -hmm. And two, what that actually can look like and what it doesn't look like. Yeah. And when you know what it looks like, it's quiet, it's patient. It's mm -hmm. like, I sh you should not be congratulating me until I'm dead. Like, you know, like, and if you do, that's great. But mm -hmm. like, I can't even, I'm not even really, mm -hmm. that doesn't, it's not done yet. <laughs> so it's like, but, but you, you, know? need, you need congratulations. You do, you, you do. Need, you yeah. need people to acknowledge the work that you've done. Yeah. And you have to learn to get yourself to a place to accept yeah. these critiques. Yeah. Cause you're critiquing, oh, I haven't done that yet. And they're like, but you're doing it. Right. And you've so, done so thank much. You. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And thank you. Yeah. And so and I think what I think that that what that has done mm -hmm. for me is provide me an understanding that it is my responsibility to find rest. Mm -hmm. Like that is, that's why I, I have to tell anybody, I golf now. Because <laughs> it's like, I've earned that. You know what I'm saying? Like I've earned, I have a time where I know that my mission and drive and all these things that have been keeping me up since I figured out this is what needs to happen, mm -hmm. it's happening. Like now, my biggest thing this year was not going to classes. Mm -hmm. So I just hired, set it up, mm -hmm. set somebody to teach. Walked away. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Like, hey. Y'all good? Yeah. I'm thinking about it like yeah. half the time. And then I'm, and I'm learning over time what I'm developing and creating is trust. Mm -hmm. Where I now understand why I need to, you know, not just hire people because I think that they need a chance, but to interview them. Mm -hmm. Figure out, can you maintain this level of this thing? Yeah. Because I can't do it I cannot do it all by myself yeah. I need to be able to trust that like that's why this again this event was amazing everybody just started showing up with stuff and mm -hmm. doing stuff you know and, like, and I was just like this is this is perfect tell me what life was like when you were doing it all by yourself and at what point did you realize oh I need either a team or other people who aren't me to be a part of this man life when I was doing it by myself was interesting because I had blown up so it was like I went. You blew up too quick. I blew up so fast. Okay. It was so unnecessary. So you, had, it was like a scale. Up. Oh man, it was ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> it was like it was like I went from I went to doing yoga at Howard, and like teaching my friends. But I'm an audacious, audacious person, so I was like mm -hmm. doing it on the yard and like very. It's like again, and this doesn't seem like a big deal now. What year was that? Two thousand nine, two thousand ten. Mm -hmm. 2000 like it was nike boots yeah that was i was over there you know yeah, yeah. so it was, I was coming just from catholic university over the years. Know, okay yeah. okay yeah. yeah so we were so i was in there so you i was on the yard doing mm -hmm. yoga and like this you know in the springtime and teaching people in class and putting up posters and trying to figure out how to get people to discover this thing that i had discovered like that i was skipping class to go take because i was like no nah, i want to feel like that like i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to be stressed out and i was so stressed out i was having my son so all of these things were building on like it's always been this rapid pace of like we you like for me this is a calling like it's not like i can stop doing it <laughs> like i can't i've tried i've thought about it but i can't like it just has to happen and 
I'm, I would embrace that and embrace that then. I was like, no, this is, I was having, my son was coming, like everything said, do not do this. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like your responsibilities are happening. You're like, no, I want to start like pottery. Like it's the idea at the mm -hmm. time. So I ended up going into it. It's provided a, a lot of life for me. But in doing that on your own, you find yourself a, doing a lot of jumping off the bridge, a lot of faith. It's a lot yeah. of faith. Yeah. Like, no, I'm just going to try this. And so I was led for a very long time, and especially being in that period of time in my 20s, and I had responsibilities, but had a lot of um, ambition. Okay. And so it was very easy, and ambition for this idea to be done. Like, and it, it was this weird almost angelic kind of holy thing where it was like I'd walk into places where I knew I shouldn't necessarily be I'm like this shit's gonna happen <laughs> like, you know and I don't know how it's gonna happen so it gave me this really irrational confidence to just start to grow and so I just did and then that was when the I quit I had spread my name out and already gotten like best teacher in the city I was teaching at white places and just kind of being mm -hmm. myself um, but when trap yoga I had quit all of that i was like i'm not i'm gonna do this truly on my own mm -hmm. and talk to my people you know um which i have been doing but like not in brand not mm -hmm. in you know yeah. what kepra became in, in your voice right yeah. it was like i'm trying to do my due diligence to service this group of people while doing my due diligence of learning this information you were doing what you've seen not exactly. what you've experienced exactly. and that was the turning point for you that was a turning yeah. point yeah i went to a place where i wasn't respected and my time wasn't respected and mm -hmm. i like was kind of ungraciously ooh, fired ooh, that trick <laughs> that trick that's all I you said, hey hey fuck is this. that that <laughs> Like, are you doubting me right. to my face? Right. And, and, I, yeah. I bet. Yeah, it was, yeah, it yeah. was smooth like that bet. And so mm -hmm. what I did, I, I, again, being this type of person, flipped on the other way. So I hired like six people, found a spot. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to pay all of you equal right. I'm going to do everything the right mm -hmm. way. Then reality, reality yeah, settled constant. back yeah. in. And reality is always like the first one to enter the room, like, like hey, 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 and you just kind of ignore it a little bit. <laughs> and I'm like, and so time started dwindling down, like in those first three or four months, where I'm in debt now, and I mm. have this idea, but I'm, you know, hurting friendships and saying I was gonna be able to do this for you and disrespecting people's time because I can't necessarily pay what I wanna pay. Getting money also, mm -hmm. but it's coming in in a way that I don't know how to manage it, mm -hmm. so I feel guilt on that. And yeah. I'm looking back at stuff like, damn, now you could've paid that sooner, but you have to worry about this. You don't know about cash you're flow. starting to get worried about relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With, with, with my family, my, like, you know, I'm having my son at the time, my wife's pregnant, mm -hmm. and the people that I know that I have built this community around now kind of don't trust what I'm doing. So it was very, 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 it was like starting. More was, questions, not enough answers. Man, yeah. and, and, and you've put yourself on a timeline that mm -hmm. money and business set you up for. Like it's a monthly, if not weekly or two bi-weekly mm -hmm. check-in of like, okay, where's your money at? How's it coming? Mm -hmm. Has it come? Like for me, getting invoices paid late yeah. wasn't a consideration. Yeah. I have invoices now that are six, you're like, I'm a business. seven months due, I'm right? Business. Yes, I have invoices why right isn't, now. Why isn't here? Right, it's supposed to just yeah. work. Why did these people agree to me and not be and a man not do or, it or, or pull work? out two days before? Yeah. Or And so I had to go through understanding mm -hmm. so much. And in the middle of that process, well, no, 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 excuse me, at the beginning of that process, mm -hmm. We blew up. Trap yoga became a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're dealing with yeah, this, yeah. this animal and this thing you've put together. Yeah. And now you have this other new animal that was in it's the background the and whole it's, time. And, it, and the thing is, because I had, had just had to let all of those people kind of go, mm -hmm. I had to bury my dream, basically, it felt uh -huh. like. It was just like, yo, you, you're not going to have this yoga studio where it's just black and, like, you know, mm -hmm. you're able to, or it's focused on black issues, and this mm -hmm. may not be the best idea. But then people kept dying, too. Oh, you shit. You know, Mike uh -huh. Brown would die. No, that was it. No, it was, at that point, it mm -hmm. was... Um, who CNN feel bad? I don't remember. I don't feel bad. But they, 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 it was, it was, it was it's twenty it's twenty sixteen. Mm -hmm. So this was um, I forget I forget exactly because it was it was Mike Brown dying that made me start doing mm -hmm. the trap yoga like getting in that lane. It well, was that summer me, where I was like I gotta I gotta we we have our Trayvon, different struggles. Trayvon framed it for us first. Yeah, right for sure. And then and then after that we just started hearing names and we started looking at the uptick and the rate. Yeah, and things started getting uncomfortable because it's like, 
oh wow they're really not but they doing don't anything. yeah yeah and then for me mike brown was huge because mm -hmm. we were close in age um and he did what i thought i had been doing mm -hmm. he complied and I was there, when they when they said he had his hands up mm -hmm. i was like it, it's like my mind finally came around mm -hmm. and i knew i mean i grew up you know spooks by the door like i know all of these things that yeah. i've heard in black panther party and i can tell you about all kinds of black history and mm -hmm. you know on both sides like on the academic side you know i got family at tuskegee like all kinds of yeah. these things i thought you, i knew you know your history yeah, i know my history yeah. and i know kind of what's going on but i still had this optimism that comes with youth and naivete about mm -hmm. like where you're at and hope and hope okay. yeah hope yeah. yeah and obama yeah. and all yeah. this thing yeah, and so yes you've been can. through, yeah, yeah I, like, I voted, we, we, yes we I can. turned What's 18 going on? October 25th and voted wow. for Obama before the deadline, like, at Howard, like, I was like, we, we have overcome, like, yeah. you know? and you get to this point where I'm in these yoga classes, I already feel othered. Whole city was mobbed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you just, and, and so I was like, no, my, what I, what I thought is real, mm -hmm. we need to heal ourselves, and this is how, and so I started to get very, angry about that early mm -hmm. on a sense uh, of betrayal yeah. yeah and so that's why trap yoga for me was huge because it was like that's what it was a feel it wasn't just like, i got to touch you r&b yoga or you know black yoga or mm -hmm. black boy yoga. it was like no trap yoga. we are struggling this shit is is real out here <laughs> you know what i'm saying like yeah. you need to work this shit off um in concept um uh, and what I've, i i did come to realize is that there is resistance like in rest you know and that came but that came to real round out this question that came from all of the struggle and tension and not to just produce trap yoga because trap yoga is hard as hell i don't think if anybody knows mm -hmm. and we as black folks always seem to pick the hot yoga or the <laughs> like you know i was like yeah i've been a hot it was like it's 108 <laughs> degrees you know it's because we're all secretly caribbean yeah right right and so we like that but we like that and so in getting that across and getting mm -hmm. wellness and yoga across yeah it, it was a huge learning process it was a huge understanding of this is maybe something i like Mm -hmm. but isn't necessarily what everybody needs yeah and so now i've gotten to a place where i really truly feel like i've stepped into the position that i thought i was stepping into by developing and building the brand like that was more of me as a teacher mm -hmm. but me as a business owner and brand owner is like no i i can proudly say like i gotta send people 1099s this year mm -hmm. like i got like i'm developing people yeah and they keep coming back to me and saying hey, you, you help me out, you know, or, I really, I noticed you did this thing. And so I'm like, oh no, that is, that is the thing. And that has yeah. nothing to do with overhead. And, you know, I'll just say, no, I can't do that event or, you know, I can. And also your willingness to learn. Yeah. I think uh, in all the work that I've done, most of the videos I watch in my free time are about business, mm. building good business mm. relationships. What are things I should be concerned about? What are habits when it comes to business with people that, are an indicator of whether I should do business with them in the or future not, or not. Yeah. Yes. You know, how how serious are they? Are they truly upset mm -hmm. when a payment is missing? Yeah. Or are they, oh, I'll get back to that later. Yeah. And it's like, nah, but it's affecting this thing that we're all right, building. That we're doing. Yeah. 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 There's a difference between cool and negligent. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I yeah. pay attention to that. Yeah. You and that's very saying? true. And I think, and I, I appreciate how you do that because I think, like, we've been, trying to schedule this interview forever <laughs> you yeah. know yeah. and i think that while there are reasons valid reasons why it hasn't happened mm -hmm. there is communication that needs to happen yeah and so i did appreciate when we've as we've talked for me because for me i'll let things i'll I have a very scattered mind mm -hmm. and so i will have forget a lot things on. i have a lot going yeah. on and but what i'm learning now is to ex just accept that and mm -hmm. what i appreciate i think in what you're saying about business is you keep that tenor there where there's an expectation that we said is going to happen mm -hmm. it should happen yeah right and that i think what you'll learn in business is that companies and people will allow for those parameters to slip or if they do slip, there is no accountability for it. Yeah. And yeah. what I've found and I like is that while you will hold folks accountable, mm -hmm. you give them room to become accountable. Like you, yeah. it's, it's like the yeah. boundary is set and allowed to be yeah. met. You I'm, know? Not, I'm not gonna guilt trip you yeah. for, oh, you weren't able to. But you're gonna be consistent. Yeah. You're gonna be like, well, when can you do it? Yeah. And so, and me as a person that has kind of pushed this off, I feel mm -hmm. guilty, you know, I feel those things, but you, it's not that you're making, you're allowing business to be the, the teacher. Your reaction took care of that. Mm. I'm very, 
if you're already hard on yourself, I'm not. Yeah, there's no need, on. right? Yeah. Yeah, if you're yeah. not hard on yourself, yeah. I'm. A, I'm gonna say some stuff. Yeah, right. I'm because a, you're a, disrespecting. Yeah, me now, you yeah, know. And I like, think, yeah, impact of those moments mean you understand how easy it is for people to lose things. Mm -hmm. You understand what waste of time means. Mean, it looks yes, like it's a lot. Yeah. And what's funny is. As soon as we were done with the event, the first thing you said to me was, hey, great speech. We need to stop playing around. You're right. When can we sit down? Yeah, yeah. And I said, oh, perfect. Yeah, right. I don't, I don't have to wrap yeah, him right. up. I don't have to work on things. No, no. He'll just show up. We'll chat. Yeah. Perfect. I don't have to do too much research because you're like, no, I can trust you with my story and yeah. to like, present this correctly. Right. And for me... But what's important about sit downs like this is I put the interviews out because I want folks to understand who it is I'm working with and have them have a chance with you guys and your story and what you've done and be like, oh, that is someone that I would like to let teach me yoga. Yeah. That is someone who I would like to look past whatever Juice is doing and go to their other classes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is someone who I would like to share with other people. Mm -hmm. Thank you for doing this sit down because people don't know us. Yeah. They just know who we present ourselves as and who our friends present yeah. us as. Yeah, right. Yeah. So this platform is you tell your story, you tell us what you feel passionate about and you speak on that part of your world and people bring their crayons and as you're telling your story whenever this comes out on youtube they're coloring in the picture and they say oh this is dope right yeah yeah and, that's, and i i want to and that's why i'm interested in getting into this space because mm -hmm. what i've done is talked at people for a long time mm -hmm. and shared what i believe but i'm really interested in getting more into the space of like talking with a consistent audience like i have mm -hmm. a lot of followers mm -hmm. but i have a really hard time having a consistent conversation with I can them. give you advice on that. Yeah. That's not that's not hard. The the hardest part honestly is either the editing and if not the editing, it's just the all right, what direction are we headed in now that I've started to do this thing? Yeah. 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 <laughs> like and, and 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 then appreciating each of because I think when when to build this level of following and whatever you start thinking of numbers mm -hmm. and what i realized is like at each person that clicks follow on this thing there is a conversation there mm -hmm. there is a there is something there and what i found is almost like the clean with no clothes like i'm afraid to talk to these people <laughs> like i'm like well i'm so focused on being the person for this sixteen thousand mm -hmm. quote unquote people i have to interact with them that, that well, i want to do that yeah. but i feel like i feel like i'm naked i'm like well what do I have anything to say? What am I don't say the right thing? And it's like, and I, 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 I don't like that for myself. I like, mm -hmm. I like to, because I t I'm the first one to tell you I'm a regular ass nigga. I am a yeah. normal person. Yeah. <laughs> like, and, and there's, there's like, good there. Yeah. There's good in just that. Yeah, yeah. Like I, trust me, when the camera's off, I'm like, yo, where my Jamaican beef patty at, bro? Right, I'm That's chilling, it. right? I'm, I'm a regular guy, I'm yeah. Cooling. Yeah, it's just, I happen to think about these things and be mm -hmm. passionate about these things, but like, they don't make me special. You know, I think that they're, and I think, but what I do think is special is my ability to translate those things mm -hmm. to people in a way that makes them feel mm -hmm. special and understand. And that's your passion drives you. Yeah. Your passion, your passion is the fuel to what's going on. Like your car can't go anywhere without fuel. Right. Yeah. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. like for me last night, I had a, a big moment where there was this huge concept I was coming up with. I was going to do dinners with a couple of folks for like the I am community, I am therapy, I am wellness and I have a couple of big production companies that I work with and I was like I was going to hire them out and it was going to be like yo this is going to be like $13,000 and I was like hey we're going to get that money from Yeah, you're working on the clothes you're doing these rollouts you're working with people why are you going to put this big stress up? on yourself you have to get this money together for the messaging yeah. and it's like no allow the community to purchase whatever they purchase and let that dictate whether you need to do the special thing or yeah, not. Yeah, 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 yeah. That money might be able to be used somewhere else. Yeah. That time might be able focus to, yeah, yeah, energy. might be, be put to better use yeah. that people would more enjoy outside of this 
big concept that you're coming up with. Mm -hmm. Now, do we need more of that concept? Yeah, but why do you have to pay for They're it? They want to do it, yeah, 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 yeah. And I've learned that, and, and there's a humility that comes with that, mm -hmm. you know, where we have these ideas. Like I said, the black community needs, man, you haven't touched <laughs> a teenth of the black community, you know, the like even just knowing you should knowing do this, who but you're... they'll never do it themselves because yeah, it's yeah. your time that's getting wasted. Right, yeah. it's, it's just like, just, just chill. Mm -hmm chill and be <laughs> honest you know be honest give and get and what i found that has really led me even in this event because in what i did learn in doing this by myself mm -hmm. is energy is huge yeah for me so it was like i kind of was like yeah i'll get over there or whatever because i hadn't taken the time we didn't know each other mm -hmm. we didn't because i'm like i know i'm gonna come with everything like, i don't i don't do things halfway like, you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be the same person yeah. that you see at this event i'm gonna be the same person and i don't have time to kind of like mm, you know have to have to fit into what you think i'm gonna be if you're not a real person mm -hmm. a lot of times you meet with people they're not real people like they're yeah. real people but they're not like their time is more they want you to be a pony. I'm like, I'm not a pony. No, no. You know what I'm no, saying? Yeah. And so you got to kind of, you got to know who you're dealing with. And I could be, I can do it, mm -hmm. but you got to know who you're dealing with. You got to know that why also, you're doing it. That you also know? comes from making sure that you keep the main the main. Right. Like, yeah. there are people who show up and they're like, cater to me. And it's like, this event's not for you. It's yeah. for everyone else. Right. You're a part of what's going on. Like, right. for example, when we did the event and I saw time was ticking. I was like, oh, I'm not going to have that hour to talk. I was like, all right, well, how do you keep the main the main? Right. right. right if you keep the focus to focus what are the important parts of whatever you're going to talk about and how do you package it to everybody and still deliver it and they receive what you would have given in an hour in 10 minutes right. and how do you still keep it grateful that everyone came out we're, we're proud yeah of folks that showed up that showed up yeah and and i think that that took off a lot of the the pressures of it Cause it's just funny how like you said like it's just i don't know if it's being a man or whatever we just have this like idea of what it should be like mm -hmm. and when i realize now that's control that's what does control, control. Yeah. that's me yeah man that's <laughs> yeah. yeah that's me that is i have definite control and I, that's what i'm realizing now it's like you know what yeah i'm just gonna let that go and so that's yeah. why i've really been into like zen and kind of figuring out like mm -hmm. Drinking tea over coffee, you know, like yeah. not trying to be the driver, mm -hmm. you know, just kind of riding and like A letting it, yeah, letting yeah. it be. Because you realize how much abundance you're in and in trying to gather so much inth of a more that it's like, bro, like, like I keep, it keeps dawning on me that I don't have to go anywhere. I can just be at my house with mm -hmm. my kids and just finish the laundry. We have an inordinate amount of laundry. Yeah, we have I an hate laundry. inordinate, I hate laundry. but I have six yeah. people. So it's like- and and I do laundry every day. Oh, I yeah. have to, yeah, so yeah. we got our own bins. And, yeah, so what I'm like, that, yo, I, I can just- that it's all utilities included. So yeah, I'm just- Yo, I'm you just-, just <laughs> Yeah, 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 and see, yeah. and that, man, I, but the, what I've realized is that, that, like you said, in defining success, that mm -hmm. is a good week for me. Yeah. I sat at home, I did all of my stuff because that still requires energy. Mm -hmm. I was able to focus away from the work and all this other stuff that I'm so easily able to do and just find the joy in sitting down for two, three hours mm -hmm. folding clothes. Like, Are you scheduling joy in your life? I am, yeah, 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 I, I do every like day every actually. Day. <laughs> yeah, every day? Yeah, all right, give yeah. me an example. Yeah, yeah, like I golf example. pretty much every uh -huh. day. Um, I, 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 like, I feel joy mostly when I'm in my, when I'm not thinking. Mm -hmm. My mind is very analytical, so it's like when I can get out of it, I feel really good. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, every day I'm finding a way to like do some sort of, um, like either playing basketball or golf. Mm -hmm. um, there was, uh, I play video games when I want to every now and then. Mm -hmm. um, well, uh, decent enough, but like I wouldn't consider that. It's more like a habit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, absolutely. And I'm very intentional about not just scheduling joy because I have a theory that that is almost as it's like the second level <laughs> of of a if, I don't say anxiety, but of like for me, what the reality is is mm -hmm. that there. It's better to be equ to have equanimity. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So harmony. It, harmony. harmony is what people so are going that for. That is what I'm looking yeah. for now. Because I used to think it was fun and this, and like mm-hmm. I want to do something that's fun. I want to do something oh, no, I want to do. That's dangerous. That, yeah, that, like, and that, that, that is what you're not, doing. That's dangerous. It's like, hey, that's not, that's not what fun looks or feels like. like right. We we got this and right. this today and this. Right. Is and fun. I got to no. do this and like I'm skipping not, out on that's this. That's not what fun looks like. No, fun is you had it scheduled. And today you decided I'm just gonna nap instead. Yeah, and that's it. That's, yeah, it is the reason I ask. Do you schedule joy? Is because a lot of us aren't even giving joy an opportunity to be a part of our day. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. Are you giving joy the opportunity to be a part of your day? I'm yes. Yeah. And the reason, I, and I, the the only reason I can say that is because I'm noticing those moments where I don't. Mm-hmm. So like, having four children is a lot. Oh, you got four. Four. Oh wow. Yeah, I have four. Wow. It's Very a lot. Consistent. It's a lot. Very yeah, and they're yeah. all born in May. Oh, two years my apart. God. What Tauruses? Two and years. And they're all Gemini's. Oh, no, God. no, no. So they're all Tauruses. My they're wife's a Gemini, and then my oldest son is a Virgo. Yeah, give me a second. Yeah. Hey, Mani. <laughs> <laughs> all his kids are Tauruses. Yeah, uh-huh. it's, it's a lot. And my wife's a Gemini. I'm a Scorpio. So it's like uh-huh. it's a lot of energy in my yeah. house. It's a lot. Always something moving mm-hmm. and always just this like demands and these things. And so and we and we are all very strong willed ah, people, you yeah. know, very strong willed and emotional mm-hmm. people. Uh-huh. Um, and so it's just in finding a way to be the constant. I'm finding that mm-hmm. it is not control. Yeah. It's not. It is control of me. Mm-hmm. And noticing, like, you just did some wild shit. Adaptability. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I will not be able to see you doing this wild shit again in no. two years. Like, you'll no. be too old. No. And so I got to yeah. find myself laughing at it. Yeah. Like, I'm like, also, also, you've had three to four times to do it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I can see that, like, wow. you're. And so it's like the joy that I'm finding. Like, today, I raked my leaves mm-hmm. in my yard. And I found joy in that because I knew it was something that I needed to do. Mm-hmm. And I had I bought a leaf blower a couple of weeks ago, and I bought a leaf blower. I had a leaf blower, rented it, yeah. went through this whole process, of, and just realized, okay, this is a little more than I needed for. No, it was good for what it was, whatever. But it was me taking a step to make my life a little bit easier mm-hmm. in a way that made what the chore was not only okay, but like satisfying. Yeah. So it's like I'm finding that the like my responsibilities, the things that I was avoiding before are mm-hmm. now my opportunities to reshape my perspective on what it means to create joy because I'm realizing that the joy for me is that end of the night like time where I'm not thinking back on mm-hmm. the things that I have to do or had to do. It's yeah. like I just did them. Yeah. I just did them. I got yeah. them done. Quick. Yeah, and they're and they're consistent, and I've got it, and I've gotten one percent closer to this being automated. <laughs> uh, I've got it. until you got the other until kids I to got take it over. until they take over, <laughs> and as they because like my kids the other day they just put their clothes away four and six they just I was like here take these they put it yeah, yeah that's the when first I step tell right you that's, the that's first huge step now all I got to do is fold them yeah that's and then the I just first tell step. them to put it away they don't even know they volunteer for their oh, job man. that's and, the first and, step yeah. and they separate the clothes now Ooh. so for me that is the oh, joy you separate yeah. clothes now okay I that's your next job okay and so it's like and so in the for me. And, and watching my parents who are like empty nesters now my brother just went to college mm-hmm. so like they're just discovering what it's like to not be in that place rediscovering their lives yes and, and like what it looks like and they sound yeah. like teenagers and like, mm-hmm. so I'm realizing wow all of this sacrifice I'm making isn't going to be reflective in me becoming something that isn't joyful yeah it's like the more that I give just like with my I understood when I was practicing and figuring out handstand the more that I let this be mundane mm-hmm. the more that I become Sisyphus and mm-hmm. just push the rock up the hill yeah and it drives back down and then I push it back up the, the more I can fall into this almost manic space of Allowing the difficulty to be the joy, allowing the work. Define manic. The man is yeah, manic for because me. Because manic has only been used in the negative. In the negative, so bro. It's a positive. Manic, it's yeah. euphoric. It is. It. I mean, manic, in its clinical term, is too mm-hmm. far. But it's euphoria in such a distance that you think you can fly. Yeah. So you jump off of a bridge. That is a disease, or mm-hmm. uh, you know, that is a problem. But mania, or the the heightened sense Mm -hmm. of not only accomplishment but connection um um 
Take your time. Take your time. Yeah, because it's, like, it's like, like, it's like this, this is things. This yeah. is my trap yoga. Like I put yeah. you in that place. Like yeah. where it's just like, like if you've ever been in a in a if you've ever been in a Baptist church, mm -hmm. if you've ever been in a good party, mm -hmm. if you've ever been at the height of a, a physical activity that you've never really done, mm -hmm. you are just there like, like a runner's high yes yeah yeah yep. and um that i think i don't know where i was going when i first mm -hmm. i kind of went into mania i don't know mm -hmm. but getting oh you're talking about how the routine routines get you in a state of mania oh right like Maddie. yes yeah. yeah and oh and and i was saying that about the work mm -hmm. because what i find now is that it's hard yeah to not yell and not do and to control yourself but and you not just in family it people oh and people i was on the way over yeah. here so i'm like having a good time I'm like, hey, talking to me. I'm like, hey. and i had to recheck i'm like and, and yeah. so you find yourself constantly going through these rechecks and what it becomes is this like eventually mm -hmm. you're just like i said like the big lebowski you're like hey man i don't know <laughs> i don't know what's going on bro and it's just happening and then it solves itself in front of you that's uh that's the next step to the work that we're gonna be doing that i plan on having us do intentionally mm -hmm. everyone views wellness as only yoga meditation sound bow meditation mm -hmm. but those are actually opening the doors to when you remove these processes yeah. and yep. modalities yep. from the person yep. and they're out there by themselves in a the world how do you apply what you've learned from these classes right. to your life and that's truly what wellness is supposed to be in terms of its implementation yep. in your life itself it should be developing a philosophy yeah and, that's, and then that's a what, technique that's what you we're going to start yeah. moving the mental health talks towards because like for me I, I don't want it to just be Depression, anxiety, depression, right, anxiety, right. ADHD, you niggas is angry. suicidal right, right. ideation. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys gotta just take a yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. Mental health is a whole sphere of work. It's a, it's literally yeah. a sphere. Because I'm learning now to deal with abundance. Yeah. You don't realize a lot of anxiety and a lot you, you will you will backtrack because you're what I said. You're there are abundance. people who go to therapy because yeah. they have success and they don't know how to and they don't know how to handle that's and me that's right okay. now. That was me. That's I was okay. The last time I talked to my therapist, I'm like, I don't understand. I don't know why I'm doing this shit. But I'm doing it and I can do it and shit. And it works. And, it, right. that's, and that's the part that's pissing you off. It's pissing you right. off. You're making the money and you're right. and and that's the like, frustration. Yeah. And you're like, but it's supposed to work. Right. And you're like, well, what am I supposed to right. do with it? Yeah. And it's like that's that's a question for you. For you. Answer. And you've equated yeah. yourself to this finite place and you're a boundless. Mm -hmm. And so how do you reshape your idea of what identity itself is like mm -hmm. who am and so you start to get into this place where i far i find that it's it can be very blissful because you don't know yeah I do, especially with like i said four kids i don't know mm -hmm. i don't know what they're literally doing right now <laughs> 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 but that's good I, yeah, that's good yeah. that's what growth is and, I, and you walk yeah. in and you understand what you understand what you un what you start what i've started to understand is that there's mm -hmm. a greater plan there's a great, you are, like they say, if God is looking out for the sparrows, he's looking out for you. So don't mm -hmm. worry that's a, about that's a great it. reference. Yeah, don't yeah. worry. And like, and that gives, that for me has become this euphoria that I can see developing into this mania where I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay for it. I'll pay, I'll do this. I'll do, it doesn't matter. Because none of this, I don't say none of this really matters, mm -hmm. but it's not in the negative sphere of like, none of this matters, angst. Mm -hmm. It's more of a like, there's this boundless like it's just opportunity like every the, the situation's gonna solve itself now, so just go forward now that you're a dad and you have these kids you start to question who am i to stand in the way of someone else's joy mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. especially when i am the access point and it's a yes or a no all right i don't yeah. have a reason to say no it's not dangerous right. to you right. you should still have a life outside of the parent right yeah. yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you start to apply that to people, and that's when you feel the change. Yeah, because I, I do that all the time. Yeah, yeah, I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I look at folks, and I'm like, you know, you know where I work at on the side mm. uh, over Players Club, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people are like, "Why are you so nice?" And I let them know it's not because I'm paid to. Yeah, you are hired to protect the good time. 
Right. So why wouldn't I keep it about the good, the good time. time? Right, yeah, yeah. We ask people to leave when they're going to spoil the good time because right. we're maintaining the good time. The good time. You guys yeah. come here because we do a good job of that. Yeah. You know how many times I've softly put my hands on the back of someone and said, hey, I think it's time for you to go, but you could come back tomorrow. They look at me and they think about the yeah. way I approach them and they say, you know, you're right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because people just want what I found people and, and what I've, I'm learning mm -hmm. is another reason for me to kind of get out the way and not put so much of my perspective on things. Yeah. Is that people just want acknowledgement. Yeah. They just want and they're going to get it. Yeah. They're Either going from to you get or it. from someone else. Yeah, yeah. You and if you've crossed them, they, they, they want don't, acknowledgement oh, on that. Oh, yeah, and no, no yeah. matter how they have to get it, because that person, like, I have gone, I have gotten removed from many a club. <laughs> <laughs> many a time. Many, many, many a time. clubs. Because for me, physical <laughs> presence, mm -hmm. I had to learn how that to be a modality. For a long time, it was Thursday night. I'm getting wasted. Yeah. And we are going to dance yeah. and party Thursdays and Thursdays are still rap. thirsty. Nothing yeah. has changed. And, that, and, man, yeah. and, so, and I got to the point now, I don't drink anymore. I barely mm -hmm. go out as much because I've kind of figured out ways to make that not a necessity. Mm -hmm. And I'm now obsessed with like, okay, I'm literally going to go golf so that I'm not anxious. I don't have so much anxiety, so that I'm tired by 8 o'clock mm -hmm. so that I can rest, you know? Yeah. Like, so I've got to find that sweet spot. Right, I've yeah. found it. And it's and I realized, you know, I'm still fun when I go out and it's cool. It's just mm -hmm. not the same. I was there for the physical, for the feeling, for the energy from the alcohol mm -hmm. and the talking and the buzzing around and going yeah. from club to club to club. So, like, now that it's not that anymore, it's just a change as yeah. a thing. Yeah. Um, and the stimulus itself has changed. Yeah. Right. And sometimes it's the way you digest life that has changed also. Yes, that is a large yeah. part of it as well. Because yeah. I was I was doing that knowing that it was detrimental to this bigger picture that I'm talking about that was kind of mm -hmm. driving me towards it. Yeah. And then I realized, well, I don't want to lose the bigger picture mm -hmm. for this release. Yeah. And I like blow off steam. Yeah. You got blow it off somewhere. Yeah. But yeah. it's like I don't I I have to that's what that is what I think the talk made me understand okay there is steam you're going to have to blow it off it mm -hmm. is not your fault that you have to blow it off yeah. it is, should be no pressure that you have to blow it off a certain way you just are going to have to let this out yeah so you need to figure out ways to do that that aren't this like open the hatch <laughs> it's just like, you know like it's just like oh, you know open the grill and like all of the smoke it's like no you're gonna have to siphon off here you're gonna have to be yeah. in, you're gonna have to get up in the morning and go play golf you're gonna mm -hmm. have to get up and do the laundry or yeah. figure i had to figure out a system for the laundry because it was literally depressing me <laughs> like i walk in and there's this mountain of clothes that i don't know how to deal with and they're not going to change we're not going to stop wearing clothes behind the boxes that you pass with the hoodies there's yeah. a mountain of clothes yeah it's, it's what just it is chilling. It just, but, it's but it's fresh clothes wash last night yeah yeah <laughs> but just like i'm not folding it last that's night i'm doing almost it today. worse yeah. that's all because yeah. you feel like they're getting dirty sitting in the pal no no and no, they're the not couch, the couch clean they're fresh the couch clean, <laughs> the couch clean. <laughs> but see that's the thing for yeah. me with kids too Oh, the, no, with kids. Them, they're, now they're on the floor. That's, that's a variable I'm yeah, not touching. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, hey, yeah, not hey, yet. that it's, yeah. it's, 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 but, but there again, what I've realized in the absurdity of life is mm -hmm. that because I have brought on this chaotic space, I have that much more capacity to evolve. Yeah. That much more capacity to grow, to allow myself to be shaped by a very active environment mm -hmm. into a more still and kind of focused and present person that needs that i found ultimately mm -hmm. needs less and that's why you're gonna have to start sliding into some of these speaking engagements yeah. that juice does yeah. and i'm like hey man come up and give yeah. me more because oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's like um i think it's a crime how liability the word itself <laughs> and the way it's been used has literally gotten in between progress Mm, right, I can see that. Yeah, when yeah, it comes yeah, to yeah, hospitals, yeah, yeah. they think, yeah. "Hey, should I not do this because it might be a liability?" Right. When it comes to therapists doing speaking engagements, there are therapists who are afraid to do speaking engagements because they don't want people to twist what we're doing with the service that you may get from them if you decide to reach out for help. To do something else, and they don't want to be held accountable for what they said here. That was for a different situation, and with a client who may twist those words for we're actually approaching a completely separate situation now. And you're like, oh, but you said this. Right. That was for that was, Thursday. Right, right, right. That was, that was for the Thursday. Girl. We on yeah. Sunday right now. Right. We on Sunday, bro. Yeah. Don't do this, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's like, I get that. But like, 
the community needs to understand that therapists and yoga instructors and folks that do sound bowl meditation, they are people too who are giving right. you a service. Right. And I want to move the relationship past the service into the contextualization of, all right, what's going on in your lives right. now that you've gotten the thing? Now that you physically work through yoga, yeah. let's talk about what's mentally going on with you yep. that you may have come across, yep. whether you're in therapy or not. What's going on, guys? Yeah. Because when you go to therapy, you're going to talk about what's going oh, yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. But for you specifically, yeah. what are you concerned about? What are you? What do you wish the world would go back to? And I have to explain to you why that's not but the case not anymore. Happen, yeah, and because right? it's not so much about getting the answer; it's yeah. about sharing that feeling and having a room full of men that says. You know, I could see why you would feel that way. Mm -hmm. Or say, yeah, I get why you would feel that way, but but you're tripping. Right, right. right Look at here. it like this. Yeah, yeah. And, and like And that's the root of kind of where you need to I work. I want yeah. us to get back to being able to have those conversation that we used to have as boys, as men, yeah. and say, guys, we don't know each other, but all you because no, we yeah. are tripping. Yeah, right here. Right, right. This That's is something it. that we need. Yeah. And, and then, and then, and then also creating the space and the yeah. idea that the conversation is just valuable to have. Yeah, and like, it's just conversation. It's just conversation. It's, it's like we don't have to. It's not even just necessarily not judgment yeah. and realizing. Because for me, it's always about like you said, like saving the day or mm -hmm. being like seeing the change. Put the cape up, bro. Put and it, yeah, up. that's Put it's not up. real. Sometimes we just want to talk about it, and that was it. It was yeah. a talk, and Sometimes you change. Let people save you, and it ripples. Yeah, yeah, right. And let it ripple. And yeah. like, don't put so much into what the outcome looks like. Mm -hmm. Let like I like I was reading this book, Effortless, that talks about like how you make your your work and things just effortless to start, do, finish. And one main thing that they talk about is define what done looks like. And when Ooh. I do that, that's why yeah. when we were talking about the, when we, yeah. I was really happy when we started talking about the event. Yeah. That was when a question. I was like, what does done look like? Like, what? Do, how do we know if we were successful? Because you can put this carrot of this idea <laughs> yeah i got you you know but it's yeah. like how do we know if we did it or not and i think for us like we ended up switching from being a paid event to a mm -hmm. free event because done is black men were healed and yeah. that's what we got done and there were some white men in the space that's why i got yeah and that was and cool. like for me i wasn't gonna ask him but you guys know who this is yeah was he like, was like decent hey. i was like you guys did a phenomenal job with the yoga positions. I don't know if you heard me talking about it on the way out. Uh, no. That was the most competitive yoga class I've ever seen in my life full of black men. Yeah. Everyone had all the positions correct. Yeah, they were doing them. Yeah, I was yeah. like the execution. I was like, has everyone done yoga in no, this class? Because before? that's because that's the, the beauty. execution. There was high execution. Yeah, because you don't want to be men doing yoga. Mm -hmm. yoga. They're just men in general. Yoga is like that though. That's it's the psychology. But I've never of the group. seen a room. This was a first time room of people from different backgrounds. Like I had six of my folks, six yeah. to seven of my folks showed up. Yeah, everyone else folks showed up. Everyone did the yoga. Everyone was executing the positions well. Yeah. And I was like, I don't think I've ever seen a yoga class where not one person looks like they're struggling. Oh, Everyone was yeah, fluidly yeah, going yeah, through yeah, yeah, every yeah, yeah. single position yeah, yeah. that yeah. was asked of them. Even the hard attempts look like, oh, they, they almost had it. Yeah. And I said, yo, this is impressive yeah. for a first class full of strangers yeah. that everyone was on a moderate level of, oh, no, I got this. Yeah, I can do yeah, this. No, 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 well, yeah, no, no, yeah, sure, what's up? I think what's interesting to me uh -huh. about yoga as a modality in when it comes to gender specificity mm -hmm. is that it's I had you easy. define modality because a lot of people be using that word or not. They don't use it, yeah, 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 right, right, that's true. But, like, it is a... It is. It was made to, well, at least the type that I teach, was mm -hmm. made to give discipline to 12-year-old boys. Tell me more. Not tell me like more. Ashtanga yoga was organized. Yoga in general mm -hmm. was a part of a larger group of uh, practices in Hinduism, but also comes from like ancient Egyptian mm -hmm. philosophy. Like yoga is the stilling or the really the science of stilling the mind yeah. is the idea. Uniting your Giving mind pause. with a higher power. Right. Mm -hmm. But, but they, what they say, yoga is the cessation of the fluctuations of the mind. Mm -hmm. So any practice that allows for that is considered uniting you with the higher power, which is more peaceful than at, at what we call sattva or like this balance. And so as you get closer to that balance, you're getting closer to reality, which mm -hmm. is, you know, God or Ishwara and these other. And so yoga specifically 
unites, the, it has higher, it's this dual relationship, higher power, mm -hmm. lower power, mm -hmm. right? Buddhism isn't the same way. They're like, there's no power. Like, there's nothing. You know, like, yeah. you just, you know, there just be is. Empowered. You're there to give up power. You, yes, yeah. and there's suffering and all these other things. And so with um, yoga in its form, it mm -hmm. is catering to the body in a physical way to teach that emptiness. So it's trying to make you, it says, this is the triangle. Mm -hmm. Fick your body in this shape. Mm -hmm. And all of your resistance to that triangle and that shape is the impurity, basically. Yeah. It is the fluctuation in the mind. Mm -hmm. And so the more and more you get used to just sitting in that state and saying, huh, that's a thought, uh, my leg hurts, the more your leg will actually open up and grow. Mm -hmm. And the more your relationship with your leg changes, the more your relationship with your relationship with your leg changes, right? Or you don't feel guilty about not having put in the time that it took then, because you're in the moment and you're doing it now. Mm -hmm. And so it's this huge, it, it, there's so much happening in each pose. And as I, my job is to understand the emotional place that this pose is gonna put you. Mm -hmm. Like for women, when we start doing crow pose, and of course, not all people are the same. There are women that do amazing. Everyone's purpose. built different, right? But yeah. the, but on average, women's shoulders are smaller. Mm -hmm. They have a lot less upper body strength on yeah. average. Yeah. So when you put them in crow pose, that pose means something different to them mm -hmm. than to a guy who you know either has lifted weights, does lift weights, used to lift weights, never lifted weights. Mm -hmm. So it's like you start to see the psychology of how people approach things because some people you would expect that like like I said, women who just are really fr they are determined and they and this they, is a space of vulnerability that you you live in. And you yeah. Function in. Yeah, and she's yeah. used to going for her, you know, things, and because it's a physical thing, now maybe this is a release or a joy for her. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a challenge because she's overcompensating in a way that she does in her other. So it's like you just start to see, you see how people approach things, and I think with men yeah. and speaking to the alignment in this class, we are achievers. Yeah. Men are achievers. We want to feel as if we have the same nice car as our neighbor. We mm -hmm. want to feel as if we are able to get the girl. We want mm -hmm. to feel if we, or at least in how we're taught to approach a mm -hmm. task, we're achievers. Which is the byproduct of our environment. And right, right, right. Exactly. Exactly. That's very, very, very true. Um, because I'm trying to shift that completely. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> it's gonna take time. It's, it's gonna, gonna take, take time. Yeah, yeah. This person you see in front of you that you've met in me yeah. was not, not always the same this. person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and and I think in, in expressing that is it takes an internal growth. But what I'm what I'm saying is that that alignment I think comes from the fact that our bodies are very capable of doing these physical things like yeah. these postures, but they require these postures are specifically designed to require that breaking. Mm -hmm. that vulnerability yeah you get deeper into most yoga poses when you relax mm -hmm. not when you push yeah. but when you allow the pose to pull it out and mm -hmm. you breathe and you're present in that process of it's like it's forced vulnerability your body has the answers yes you just have to be able to let your body talk yeah. and men think yeah. naturally i think a lot with our body in a way that is completing a task mm -hmm. and so when i put yoga in front of men and i'm like hey no do this put your leg here do that we will follow the steps as best as we can and deal with the pain mm -hmm. to keep the alignment yeah you know but the motivation to go and do that in the first place mm -hmm. is an emotional yeah thing and yeah. that's mostly why women show up to these classes because mm -hmm. they know like i don't feel right i have to do something mm -hmm. about it and, and they'll their, struggle through the poses in even. In environment, though, they have been taught and raised to understand when you grow up in a world where people aren't going to stand for you, you're already in the struggle. Yeah. So yep. for you, you're yep. like, I need to put myself in positions of struggle to to keep it tied in until I get back home where mm -hmm. it's safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For men, they're like, no, nah, no, nah, I am power. It's right. like, oh, okay, all right, you think so. Right. Until one day you're not the power, how are you going to handle it? And that? then you crash. Yeah. And that's why we end up crash. We go from mm -hmm. heights and fall and yeah. height and fall. And women, it seems like, kind of keep this consistency, mm -hmm. you know, even in their, even in how you perceive becoming like a grandma, you know? Yeah. Like, it's like there's this consistent path of mm -hmm. you kind of elevating to this you place. You can see the ease. practice. You can see the practice. Yeah. There's, I don't think most Papa's practice on being a papa. No, not yeah. at all. You just yeah. kind of get there and you mm -hmm. accept it, and then yeah. you kind of get you get the fine. You finally get the chance to soften up, mm -hmm. is what it seems like. Instead of getting yourself to the place where you are ready to nurture as soon as the the kid comes, you know. Yeah, and you want to hear a nurture story? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, 
recently uh, I've been rescinded as being a godparent for someone rescinded? I'm very close. Rescinded? Like they pulled it back? They pulled it. <laughs> Can you do right? that? I don't even know look, that. Look, 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 look. It's a legality. A lot of people don't like to talk ah. about it, but being a godparent, a godmother, and a godfather, that's a legality, right? Ah, I didn't think about that. And the story that I was told was, you're, you're funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> like story, four of them. I'm like, I got to tell these people. The story, <laughs> the story that I was told was, Due to Christianity and the church that they belong to, there's only allowed to be one godparent for hmm. the ritual, right? So one godparent per per side. So oh, like one god so you had, you were like a, a one dual godparent okay. for the dad. I right? see, okay, fair I'm politics. Like, hey, politics. Yeah. If that's a policy, yeah. Am I upset? Yes. Yeah. But if that's the policy. It's I am not going to yeah, create yeah, yeah. conflict right, there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what I had conflict with, because I was told, but you could show up. I was told, but you can show up mm -hmm. when I was told that the baby father has an issue with me. Ah. So it became about the policy plus him having an issue right. with me. And when that happened, I was like, wait, I'm in D.C., yeah. You guys are like three states away. Yeah. This is not a me problem. He's only met me one time for the baby shower, yeah. and I was there for you because we've been friends from high school right. to now. To now, right. This man just got in the picture less than four years right. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm the issue. Right, right. No, I don't Hold think so. Up. I don't think so. Right. Wait. What the fuck are we doing uh, right, right now in right. this conversation? Right, right. So I hit her up, and I mean, no, she called me, and I was like, Hey, man, I was like, I'm going to be honest. I'm not showing up. I'm not going to be there. Yeah, yeah. I was like, you know, because I, I know my value, and I realized, I said, hey, if he has an issue with me, he could pick up the phone to call. Yeah. And this isn't his first time having an issue with me, but when someone has an issue with you and you're not in the picture, yeah. but you're a point of contention. That's not your issue. That that's has nothing to, to do, do with, with me. me. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, that's y'all thing. That, I'm yeah, not yeah. gonna tackle it. Yeah. You deal with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, I, I started in, to learn that too. In yep. your conversation and what's happened, you have chosen a side. Even if you use where it's like, oh, this is heartbreaking and everything else. No, what's heartbreaking is watching your friend give up on you. Yeah and say, well, we have to accept things for what they are because there is child. Yeah. And in my head, I'm like, the anything having to do with either a christening or a baby shower, the focus is supposed to be the, the baby. child. Yeah, yeah. That is supposed to be the focus. Yeah, and, and it's, it's, I mean, is this their first child? Yeah, this is their first that's child. Why. Together, yeah, right? That's why, yeah, that's why. That's why. Because it's all about the parent, the first well, time. But you gotta understand, <laughs> for me, what I think about when moments like that happen is, when you grow up and you have friends that you've cared about, yeah. You talk about taking care of people's kids. This has been a yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah, right. He's like, yeah. Anything it. happened, I got you. Yeah, like, right. We have mutually lost loved ones to, like, homicide. Yeah. That we share on, like, the yeah. parental so level. So you know you can trust each other in a way. So like I an always understanding show up. Of, yeah, yeah. And when I got that call, I was like, you know what? Yeah. I'm never going to tell someone to stand up for me who doesn't know how to stand 10 toes down themselves. Yeah. Yeah. That is. They can't. That is something that's in you. Yeah. And when people start to yeah. negotiate that part of their relationship, that should already be something Solid. so hollow and yeah. sacred. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's they have mentally moved on and they just want to tell you. And for me, I'm like, hey, let's just rip the band-aid yeah, off. Yeah, let's, this is what let's it not is. do this. this let's is. not do this. this is what it is. Let's yeah. not do this. Yeah. Because life will show you what your decisions are. Yeah. And, you know, the byproduct of those decisions. Yeah. And that's what patience is. Yeah. Patience is, acceptance. is having the acceptance <laughs> yeah. and honesty of what's going on. Yeah. And yeah. when you do what you do when it comes to yoga, when it comes to like you've now shifted the bodies of these men and they have to listen to their bodies and just accept it for what it is, mm -hmm. that's a lot of what you're going to find in life. Mm. Mm. And I'm pretty sure you go through that when you're raking leaves or mm. folding some clothes. Yeah. Like, God damn. Like, I got to do this before the kids touch it. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. But I know, I know that in that moment that they're not touching it or in those moments where mm -hmm. I'm not stressed and panicked or when I'm in traffic or my mm -hmm. boss is doing some shit. Yeah. And, it's, and I can be, and I have the space to just yeah. be pleasant. You know, and mm, 
Wow. Okay. Oh. It's it's the 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 weight of that is so light. <laughs> like it's just... currently you don't own the, own the studio, right? No. Unpopular opinion. I'm glad you don't own a studio. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. No. It's, I don't know if you it's realize it. It's too much it. work. It's a lot of work. Yeah. It's very stressful. No. As the person who's the figurehead of your business and the person who's responsible for creating momentum. You, you shouldn't be the person responsible for the foundation yeah. of where the thing happens. Right, yeah, I agree. And I think, like you said, keeping the main the main is mm -hmm. my thing. I'm like, I don't need a studio. Nobody needs yeah. a studio. That's marketing. Yeah. I need your time. Yeah. And I need, that's pretty much you it. Need <laughs> I need your an time. establishment you can trust. Yeah, take that can do, do it, right. And, 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 yeah. and my thing is, what I've learned and love about this practice and mm -hmm. what I do and what I'm able to do now in just creating and partnering and really being a true partner and not like an opportunist trying to figure out how to make it, but like a true partner where it's yeah. like, no, I can handle this part if you can handle that part, is that it? there is so much opportunity mm -hmm. because I'm going to go to the best building because that's the best, I'll just need space. Yeah. So if this is the best building and I can be the best teacher, why would I need to make some other place that I'm going to have to level with where I'm at like, I can buy a ballroom, <laughs> I can't. But if I don't prioritize myself in this idea of I need a space and my brand has to do this, and just put up a sign and host the classes, what's getting done is getting done. When people use the word brand where it doesn't belong, yeah. I get irritated, because I'm like, your yeah. brand has never been the thing that you're claiming for it to be. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. People, because people think- At the think, end of the day, brand comes down to delivery. Yes. Consistency. It's, it, your yeah. brand is told back to you. Yeah. It is not something that you say to the world. Mm -hmm. That's marketing. You would hope your brand is that. Yes. But once people tell you what your brand is, yeah. that's what that's they what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. Yep. And you have to and you have to accept that. Like I I mean like again, I'm a black man teaching these classes, but I realize 95% of women. the women that come to my class are between this age group and that age group and trap yoga is not built for them. No. It's hard as hell. Yeah. It is it is ang the it's pace, a men's class. It is the, the pace the, the pace when I saw ass. you guys doing trap yoga, yeah. and that was that, that was, was like light. That was light. <laughs> I know that was light, but in my head, I was like, "Nah, yoga's flow is usually slower." slower and but everyone did a good job of keeping up. Yeah, and I'm not gonna interrupt the process that's happening in front of yeah. me. But I was like, "There's an uptick in yeah. pace." It's like that a if I was doing it with you, I would have been like, "Nah, nah, nah that's, that's crazy." Doing it. But see, that's this crazy. Was, but what, yeah. the, what the reason that I stuck to that is because it's more of a style of yoga that mm -hmm. appeals. To men that appeals to mm -hmm. that like to that genre of music to that energy you know like when you think of trap music you think of hustling and moving and, mm, 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 and so like i'm here right now yeah boom 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 yeah. boom boom whoop that right, yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> but it's like mm, it's yeah. because what my point in that time and like i said with mike brown and all these mm -hmm. other things happening is i want to validate that energy yeah we are yeah. angry we are pissed off this let's, shit is let's real let's repurpose let's re let's transmute that yeah. and so at the end of all my classes which i was great to find out the other day the marconi union song is like the weightless song it's like the most relaxing song that's ever been made type mm -hmm. thing that is the end that is the lesson at the end of my class is mm -hmm. that through all of this even your accomplishments these failures these things like all of this challenging that i had you're still here mm -hmm. and all that's left to do is just feel peace feel at ease i uh, i want us to start marketing towards more husbands yeah bringing them great into idea the room. great idea um great idea when dip shared him just having his newborn i feel like me saying hey you're gonna wipe a lot of ass that resonated with a lot of people <laughs> hell yeah when i said that i just saw so many heads like, yeah. saying yeah i yeah. was like oh that must have been the one for everybody yeah, wipe a lot of ass <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah because that's true because it, it wouldn't work for a newborn that's just what it is it is what it, i mean and, yeah. and, and symbolically it mm -hmm. is what you are as a father yeah you wipe ass you yeah. handle problems mm -hmm. you deal with the ins you deal with chaos you deal with excrement you deal with the tough shit nobody else wants to deal with mm -hmm. because that is your that is your job that is your, not even your job that is what you're best at doing yeah their thing like when it comes to the tr the trash mm -hmm. or the kitty litter my wife can't handle it <laughs> like she just can't <laughs> handle it but when yeah. it comes to like certain things like you know making sure my daughter's hair is or do, like you realize there's a trade-off and not to say that it's gender specific or whatever but there are things that are 
you know, we're tradi we're very traditional mm -hmm. in my household. So like I do the yard work. Anything you can think that the man does, I do. Mm -hmm. You know, even coming down to having so a business. That's what you guys have agreed to. That's what that's we, that's what we like to do. Yeah, yeah, that's what we both appreciate because I know that my kids will always have a mother that has that security that I can provide, mm -hmm. that can then provide for them. Yeah. And then I feel I feel good. You know, yeah. that's why I have no problem staying out late or working two jobs or figuring out these things. Those are easier things for me to do mm -hmm. that I have no problem doing, but it requires a level of humility that yeah. comes down to wiping a lot of ass. Yeah. You yeah. know, and not getting a lot of thanks and not getting a lot of recognition mm -hmm. and figuring out ways to carve out that time on your own. That takes practice. It does. And that also takes demand. Yeah. yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so like demand, yeah. Just because... Yeah. Or negotiations. Yeah, yeah. Just because we've learned for that no one's going to say thank you doesn't mean we need to practice that in the home. Right. My partner and I, we, That's we practice a lot of, hey, I appreciate you. Yeah. Or... Hey man, you you drop the ball here. I drop the ball a lot. I'm a I'm a spiller. Yeah, I'm, really. a, I'm a fantastic spiller. Like, like if, like if, real if you want a mess when I'm like drinking stuff. Oh yeah, you're I'm like, over, yeah. like where's, where's the bib to I'm this like grown that, man? Like, that, like, that, like <laughs> I'll take a, a bite of pizza. Where'd the stain come <laughs> from? I just <laughs> I'm a bit of a spiller. Yeah, you know like, I understand. So I understand like that, you yeah. know, she does a really good job with like pep talks or approaching me about stuff or like, hey, could you do better on that? And, yeah. and I make suggestions too, but yeah. it's, we have facilitated listening to each other. Yeah. And that yeah. takes a lot of practice. It does. It takes like, yeah. and it takes somebody you like and love. Yeah. Like, it's a real, like, it's, oh my God, I like hearing your voice yeah. and it doesn't annoy me. Yeah, not at all. No, oh not at all. my right. God, yeah. wow. And it's, even, and I do the same thing with the people I work with. Like you guys, uh -huh. everyone, I was like, oh no, this is great. Yeah. I'm, I'm fine here. Yeah, because I was like, they, are, they can say whatever. I'm yeah, fine it's yeah. cool. It's easy. And yeah. I think, and, and I think especially with that event going into it, I hadn't, I didn't know anybody. Like yeah. I knew Britt, but I had never really worked with Britt. Like I kind of like and so it was cool like like I don't know what Tay was gonna do I have no idea <laughs> I did not know at it all. was so impressive and it was great it was, it was so perfect. impressive yeah, oh I, I love like, what Tay did what Tay did I was like it, it was, I need a sample of that when I wake up in yeah, the morning in the morning in yeah. the morning yeah he had me beating on my chest and like oh. and I was I felt I just felt like a man I was like damn I yeah. felt like, like I was like, about to get into a boxing match yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah you were hyped and, and it was right after the and, the and the thing I liked about how we did it then was brought it down to the car yeah yeah. And it, but then it was it was we had done the yoga so you were focused yeah and your body was open and you're ready what it really what yoga lets you do is hear God it lets you be vulnerable mm -hmm. and lets you kind of not wrap yourself in your ego and that protection mm -hmm. you know you're kind of that's like yeah you know yeah. like I'm like I'm literally trying to be every day like just like yeah you're just open like it just shit just doesn't stick on you yeah you and, know and his lesson in that was hey it's okay to be powerful yes just just you know great lesson this space is is for you to be that yeah you're gonna be reserved when you leave right. when you leave here but for for the half hour yeah of what we do right here right 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 yeah. here right 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 <laughs> Yeah. yeah, 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 and it, I mean, so it was, it was, it was for me. That was, it was just really fantastic, and gave, and it fed, it fed my spirit mm -hmm. in a way that, that for me is like you said, that is the driver of where yeah. I'm going. Yeah. So it was like now I'm focused in, and in a different way because. Before in the past, it would have been like, all right, we need to do, it would have been a lot of, we, we need to, we should, we got to. We need, like, we, we got to go here, 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 and here, and here. Yeah, here. no, it's like, no, 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 no. So what I, and, and so now I've started to, like, I like what you said about planning joy. I've started to formulate next year mm -hmm. now. Yeah, and I never. Oh yeah, that. yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah, so you guys, you guys got me excited. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. we're gonna do at least this here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make sure I maintain this contact here. I'm like clearing the space for us to be able to do mm -hmm. so that when it comes time yeah. for me, success looks like this getting accomplished without any shift in the way that I feel, mm -hmm. act, move. And that's why I put a finish line. Yeah, finish lines. What does it look like? What does the end look like? Yeah, yeah. If we like, for example, if we start in February, right, and we do an event every other week, and we just do twelve events. By the time we do twelve, you're at the top of August, and you figure out, hey, do we need to slow down? Right. Are we doing too much? Yeah. How's the classes looking? Right. Are we charging people? Not charging people. Yeah. yeah. Hey, is the is the mayor's office supporting what we got going on? Mm -hmm. What's the shift that we need to do? For me, I plan on bringing you guys out in all the clothes of things that I'm making for all the events we do this year. All right, sounds um, good. You, your your closet's going to be dripping. I was about to say, my thing is because yeah. I want to start, because I'm 
I made this shirt. Like this is one of my first. No, no, like, show the whole thing. Oh yeah, sorry. And I didn't wear the. And this, this is not color. even the. Good it's, color. Decent quality. There you go. No, no, decent no. That thing's soft. Wait, hold up. Uh, uh, I can touch you, right? Yeah, yeah. No, that thing's soft, man. Yeah, it's good. It's got good matching stuff. with the pants. Too. You know what I'm saying? Let's, I can't let's show the pants right there. Wait, hold on. Let me. With my favorite shoes. No, no, I got you. You see that shoes? Look, look. You see Manduka boys going up right there? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm put it up. I'm put it up. All right, we back. We back. There you go. My yeah, bad. My yeah, bad. Yeah. And so yeah. it's, but like I'm learning and I'm letting this be, which is funny. I'm, I'm really finding like I want to not only develop like clothes and stuff like that, but develop things mm -hmm. that you can bring into your home that make your life better and easier. Like, like, so candles, wellness products and stuff. What, what you got? What you got? Um, for your clothing. I, yeah. I did this, right? Yeah. Here's, here's a business You've been moment. through this whole thing. Here's, here's a business Yeah, because I can see. I'm like, yeah. yeah just, yes. You got, you got, I know, I know what samples look like. I, I know what shit looks like. I'm like, oh no, that's, that's like, I see XL on the back. I'm like, that's a bag full of shirts. He's, like, he's organized. I have an right? entire small box yeah. full of all my sizes. Yeah. That I'm like yeah. nervous about yeah. selling to people. Like, um, add a QR code to your clothing. Oh, right. So I just got this hoodie made. Yeah. Three weeks ago. Nice. It's the same one I told you we did the release on, right? Uh huh. Check the leddy. Check. You feel that, right? You feel that? Yeah, this is all I you want. Feel that this is all. Right? But you know, I want heavy. Right? I want a heavy hoodie. I want a hoodie. I, that's I hear you. Heavy. But <laughs> yeah. you tell your customers, hey, air dry only. Ah. I have a roller, air dry only, ah. right? Look at the left sleeve. Yeah, let me see. Oh, it's on the... No, oh, no, no, look at the left sleeve. Left like, sleeve. Oh, I'm on the right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So, there's a there's a difference between... This is dope. All right, you have a hoodie that's dope, and I have to tell you the website versus a stranger meeting a stranger yeah. and saying, oh my God, I like that. Where did you get it yeah, from? Yeah, and it's right And you here. don't have to have a conversation as a customer. You just say... They bring out the phone. Hey, appreciate you. No problem, my boy. Go on about your business. Yeah, and you move on. The customer should never be inconvenienced for your business. Right. They should never have to take a bunch of time out of their day to be like, oh, let me see if this I can is, find out. Yeah, can I remember the person? Mm -hmm. Let me reach out to them. And from doing this, instead of it taking like 60 days to get like 60 customers or like, let's say 30 days on average, I could do 30 days. I could pull about like 120 customers. Mm. This alone got me 142 customers in one night. Damn. Everyone was fascinated by the fact. And QR codes have been out for, for yeah. years. But, but, but I've always looked at the way the technology yeah. was applied. And I was like, this isn't good application. Mm -hmm. There has to be a smarter way to do this. Mm -hmm. So I hit the guys up that were doing my stuff. And I was like, hey, how much would it cost to get a QR code? All right, let's make it small. And mm -hmm. put it on the inside of the sleeve. Because I never want to inconvenience my customers. Yeah, and then boom. and they I just... want everyone to feel like they're choosing to share the community when they want to. So they have a choice. Yeah. And also, it's just a cool idea that it's now in the clothing. And I don't have to think about where do I send them to get the thing yeah. and you deal with it as the business yeah that's brilliant and because I, I know for me, mm -hmm. if I'm wearing this hoodie, mm -hmm. I'm like, look, motherfucker. <laughs> like, you want the... Well, I'm like, my veins. Right, right, right. right, right. And it's like, I yeah. mean, because you want to... I know I only at this point purchase and, and, and deal with things that I care about and, mm -hmm. and like want, you know, to reflect who I am and like, you know, I'm, I'm real big on the Marie Kondo, like yeah. eliminate, does it spark joy? Right? If it does not yeah. spark, like this shirt sparks joy. Like You look cozy. You know, First I, thing I said, I open the gate up, I said, yo, you look mad cozy. Yeah, I'm super comfortable. <laughs> super comfortable. Like, it's like this, I have memories because of this shirt. Yeah. I got stories with this shirt. Like I love, so it's like, I'm now figuring out that that is what I want my products to be. But as a customer, you know? uh, but as someone who's the producer, you need to think about the customer. Yes. So at first yes. I was like, yep. yo, we're going to put this on the collar. So when you check the size, so it's going to be right there by the collar. Yeah, like, that means that they have to take their hoodie yeah, off. They oh, have to look for yeah, it. They have yeah. to show someone. Yeah. You've messed up my steez if I had a whole fit together yeah. or I felt great. Yeah, and I had to do this. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. In your sleeve, just... Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's you. And now, and now, other people want to do that same mm -hmm. thing with their phone. It, yeah. it makes it makes this a piece. Yeah, I've heard. To I've heard ten people say that is genius. Yes. And for me, I was like, ah, it's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> it's right, right, a good idea that yeah. worked, and I have the numbers to back up right. the fact that it worked. Right. Because like, you getting, you getting a 
five to seven hundred boost in traffic to your website mm -hmm. because you put it on a sleeve. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. If you would have put it on a piece of paper that's there, folks would have been like, I don't think about it. Yeah, all right. But right. it's a piece of movement. It's different, yeah. It's on the person's clothes. You're yeah. moving with it. And then you can forget about it because yeah. it's so small. Like, mm -hmm. look at that. Yeah, you want to see how it. How big is the square space on yeah, this? Yeah, uh, maybe an inch, maybe. Top maybe, of the phone. Yeah, let's say, yeah. That's, that's it. Brilliant. That's, I'm like, and I don't, I feel bad. <laughs> I'm like, I want to do this. <laughs> like, yeah, I feel no, like I feel it's bad. priority. Like, bad. you should That's have honesty it. right there, man. Yeah, don't and my bad, thing bro. is, and what I'm also learning uh -huh. is that I'm learning business. You got to watch business videos. You got to yeah. find channels that make it fun. Yeah, well, what, you, what I'm realizing is that you don't, it's not a how, it's a who. Mm -hmm. So it's like, there's a part of me that's like, well, you produce these already. How much would it be for me to ask you to help me produce 10 mm -hmm. of these or 20 of these? Or, oh, if you and, ever want and me to get walk it, you through the process. Yeah, then, and walk, I got you. You either walk not, me through or, or learn it. What I'm learning is like, if, if you're not so attached to mm -hmm. money as a thing, yeah. my goal is for people to have something like this that's quality, that they love, that makes them want to come back and practice yoga. That's going to last for like four or five years. Right. Right? Right. And I want the heavy material that you want, uh -huh. but... I'm more willing to make a mistake mm -hmm. doing something great. I see what you so mean. So my whole thing is you should never make your product cheaper. Right. Just improve on the product. Exactly. The biggest improvement ever. People are more, they love this mm -hmm. messaging wise, mm -hmm. but they light up for seeing someone execute something and feel that. Yeah. Feel yeah. That yeah, I feel, feel yeah, yeah, no, it's that's real. in the material. Yeah, yeah. So that means whether I wash it or dry it by mistake, it's gonna be it's a part of the material. Yeah. So I don't have to think about what it is that I have. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, hey, if you want to keep it the best quality, wash it on low, air dry. Right, yeah, yeah. Right? And you'll be fine. And then you as a customer, if you decide to open up a business or someone else is doing a business, they see that and they said, That's a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? Don't worry about why you didn't think about it. Right. Just do implement it. it. Yeah, yeah. And apply it, yeah, yeah. So yeah. for me, now I think about like, hey, for a shirt like what you have on, that's a short sleeve shirt. Mm -hmm. Hey man, put it put underneath. Like on the, yeah, right no, on no, it. underneath. You uh, still want to give them the choice of whether oh, they, well, they want to share it. See it or not. Yeah, so yeah. right here on the sleeve. Hey man, where can I get that? Uh, oh, right here. Ah, uh, and put it just, down, yeah. and that's it. They yeah. go on about their day because you don't. People are polite, so you don't want someone walking up to somebody oh, with a like phone already and out. cheating them like yeah. a menu. Yeah, I don't want to interact with people, and that if I do want to interact with people, cool. Now I have a speaking point, right? But I get to choose, right? Because practicing patience is a choice. Yeah, yeah, and that's what mental health and wellness is about. It's the the choices that we've made, and once we're aware of things. What are we doing to change and go in the right direction? Okay. So even in the way I execute the clothing, I, I keep that stuff in mind. Mm, mm, I never sense. want anybody that's wearing what I'm what I create to be uncomfortable. Right. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I yeah. think for me, and I think when you talk about therapeutic, when I think about clothes, my goal is to like I, I say I want a really heavy sweater mm -hmm. because I know at the end of class you just want to hug. Yeah. You just want to feel like I'm somebody, working on that shirt. You know? I'm like, working on that shirt. I just want to hug. I'm, you know? I'm working on that shirt. You're going to love when that shirt comes yeah. out. I'm working on that shirt. You <laughs> so, feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. And, and what I've realized too, like with Trap Yoga taught me this, is that mm -hmm. you think that you need to be the person that you need to be Jesus. Nah. Everybody needs to know, like, you nah. were the one who did it. That's and I, too much. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look what happened to him, you know? Nah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Like, they nailed that boy. Yeah, they got yeah. him. They got yeah. him. And, and my thing is, if, and, and that would be, that is a role you can play if you yeah. want to, you know? But what I found is, like, for me, the joy of trap yoga is not that people say, yeah, you created trap yoga, you're the guy who did it. It's that I can pretty much look anywhere and go anywhere and see black people comfortable in classes that they can find on their own, which is the point of that in the first place. Are you the creator of Trap Yoga? Yeah. yeah. You created the concept Trap Yoga. The concept Trap Yoga. You know how many times I've made fun of Trap Yoga? Uh, yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, see, well, well, wait, wait, it's wait, around. But, but let me explain why. The point why. is that it's a let concept. Let me explain why, get. though. Yeah. So, hey, congratulations. A beautiful you. concept, thank right? You. Thank you. Um, a lot of people have been doing these mental health and wellness events. Yeah. And the only thing I question is like, hey, do you have a mental health professional there or someone that's going to point you in the direction yeah. of a mental oh, health mental health, right. This is not Once mental, you deem yeah. something mental health, yeah. 
or oh this is a mental health event which god that term gets i don't like that term so i don't like times. the term and that's why i think i didn't understand what it, i don't like the term mental health that doesn't it's yeah. not a verb it's, like, it's, it's, it's not it's a like, verb but it's, it is it but is. it has become the darling of the media yes for them to slap on all things negative mm -hmm. and that's why we are repurposing what mental health is supposed yeah. to be yeah because if you let the media have it they're just marketing and branding yeah they're not actual purpose nope, nope. Right? No, nope, nope. they're there to tell you the news, and they sometimes create yeah, the news. Create the news, yeah. But just because they're creating it doesn't mean they're creating it correctly. Right. That's why. Right. What we're doing is very important because, yeah. like, we're just looking to serve the ten to twenty percent. Yeah. That's what this is. The yeah. ten to twenty percent. Yeah. That wants better for themselves or heard, they can hopefully receive better. We want to give them a chance to test it out and be like you know what, I do want this. Right. Or we want to give them a chance to test it out and be like, you know what, I don't want this, but thank you for giving me the opportunity to have it. Yeah. And that's that's it. And to, and to have an opinion on it. Yeah, because like being black means you're not going to have access to resources. Right. So it's our responsibility, which yeah. a lot of what we do comes from, yeah. just to put the resource in front yeah, of our community. Yeah, to provide it, yeah. So they yeah. have access to mm -hmm. that. That's what this really comes down it to. It does. And, right? and I think I'm, what I'm finding is that the way that you do that should be reflective of what the community wants mm -hmm. and not what your savior picture of yourself yeah. would be. And I think that that is an honest mistake. Like, if, I don't know, I would say mistake. Like we said with trap yoga, like that was the most, it was the most marketable way to get things out. I'm from Atlanta, I love trap music. I love the concept and modality of it, but it is not. It, you created it in DC? Yeah. That excites me. Yeah. That, that excites me that that thing that became popular started here. here. Yeah. Because like, when things become popular, it's very rare to meet the source of something mm -hmm. that, cause now that kind of reframes the whole interview that we did. Mm. Cause like, that wasn't a beast. That was a monster. Yeah, it was like, huge. Everybody yo. was doing it. And that's why I say when I, it blew up, I uh -huh. got kind of depressed because I can't be everywhere at once. Didn't trade market because that wasn't the goal. Like the goal was to get black people to practice. You and I got to sit down and have another yeah. conversation yeah. just about that. Yeah. Because like. You think about like that, what. That kind of makes me sad then for you because like. It could have been more came, or whatever. No, no, no. It came from a good place. Yeah. And you didn't even get to enjoy it as someone that created it. I you did. have pockets of joy, oh, but, yeah. but, but you said I got depressed. Oh, because, well, well, that's the thing. I got depressed uh -huh. because I equated that selfless, what's supposed to be selfless. Once I got, like success for me, mm -hmm. fame, yeah, money, yeah. Um, that was not what it was. Yeah. Those things came and I didn't feel successful. I just felt like I needed them more. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until I was able to pull back and realize what, like you said, define success for myself, mm -hmm. that it had nothing to do with, like I personally don't, that's why I don't like the, you know, introductions and stuff. It doesn't matter to me anymore. I do introductions at the end of the interview. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, do you? I do. Like, the, like, the story in the conversation is more important. It's, yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. But it's like it, people, what I've realized is the accolade, even down to the money. Like I said, like, I used to think, I used to be, I brought in six figures one year and was the most depressed because I thought it was about ha being a different thing thing yeah it's like when i get this money when i get this fame i will be something different and it's very empty to figure out that nothing has changed it's just your perspective on what you thought made you valuable has met reality and that's disappointing uh -huh. it's there's like a, a, there's no amount of money i've ever been paid that makes me feel better than i do at the end of a yoga class yeah there's no amount of fame that i've gotten that has ever made me feel more connected to somebody than when they randomly just walk up to me and are like, hey, you know, you can feel it in them. <laughs> like where they're just like, I didn't know what I was doing. I saw you practicing yoga one time on Instagram yeah. and now I've been doing it for three years now. Like that, you think it's the opposite. Yeah. I thought when I, because when, when I, when, when I was struggling and when I got to the point where I was like, I'm just gonna teach what I wanna teach, I'm gonna teach trap yoga. Like this was anti-yoga, it felt like at mm -hmm. the time. 
the, the that's goal. how people were probably approaching. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was scared yeah, about pushback, it. I was because they're in a community of DC oh. and Louisville. I had I had to turn my back to them and say mm -hmm. these people are important. I'm only focusing on them. And those that growth period that exploded into what it was mm -hmm. was the goal. Yeah, the goal wasn't I want to be the best yoga teacher and everybody know me. The goal was I want us to have a space. I want us to practice. I want us to feel confident mm -hmm. doing this work that I know that we naturally have to do yeah. but we don't that has been marketed to us as the end goal mm -hmm. like wellness like you were saying how mental health is always the negative yeah. wellness is always this positive thing <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not. not it's not every good <laughs> yoga teacher I know was on drugs or yeah. depressed or they they had that's, to figure out how to do it that's the other side of the conversation mm -hmm. that I told my folks we need to start getting to like yeah. hey we are practicing being better. Every day is just another chance for me to practice, to practice. being the good man people appreciate me being. Yeah, and yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's, uh, it's heartbreaking for me when it comes to that because I think, I think what's important about your story is you made sure to maintain the genuineness of it's still about my community and yeah. that's who I'm serving. Yeah. And because of that, it actually legitimizes what you've created. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. And I think because when created. people started twerking and shit and mm -hmm. it, became, it became this marketing storm. Yeah. For me, it was like, it no, doesn't belong to you. It's, once, it, yeah. once they get their hands yeah, it was on like, it, hey, hey. it doesn't yeah, it's, belong it's not to my, you and, anymore, and I had yo. to check myself because I'm yeah. calling people like, that's not how you're supposed to do it. And, da, da. <laughs> and I realized, I'm like, you can't become the police of these yeah. fame people you wanted to liberate. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's because it's black women doing this and expressing themselves in a way they never got the chance to do. And it's and pure. you can't and it's and it's fine. It's and it pure. might it's pure. And it's like and because you can't do it, you cannot mansplain how it should be done nah, now. Not at all. Not you at have all. to let it go. And not like and all. I think it once I learned to do that, I stepped into a place of power mm -hmm. within myself that made me recognize that I had done it. That was good. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I could talk for four more hours, man. Like, <laughs> um, and it's funny because you never really get. And what I'm what I'm realizing now is that in having created this community, I need this community. You know, like it's you got to go to events and show people and do interviews and like talk with people and you know show up. That's hilarious. You gotta show up. You know? I had no clue about that, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, and then like you said, like, when it, when it legitimized, it's like for me, I knew that that was a question, and which is the why I didn't want to do it because in creating a space for yourself as a black person, we are yeah. unique, you know. And in yoga, it, in that space at least, they're trying, especially with white women who have no connection to this thing, but are the market leaders. Yeah, are trying to show this. Almost, I'm not a person so much mm -hmm. that I can feel this, like, I don't know how they do it. It's got called colonialism, you know? Like, I, like, I'm not a person, but like, I, I'm so- What's this in so, Black Panther? Colonizer. You're right, colonizer. Like, I am so hard <laughs> blanc that I can wear whatever this culture is because as you started. Thing. You're right. Well, you're, we're, you're no, the, I'm you saying, opened the door, though. Well, I'm saying that they, they get to do that in yoga because white women popularized it in our community. So they made it all about wearing white clothes and hearing beach sounds and all that shit that was very traditionally, that's what it mm -hmm. was. But for me coming in and saying, no, I'm going to do this for black people, we do it like this. Yeah. And, and that was a, a small portion of, I think, how it could be done, but it also was very different than the way that yoga was done. So it's a mask, it's strong. It's I'm, I'm trying to make you cry, you know? Like, yeah. not really, yeah. but really. Like, I'm trying to get you to a point where you have fought as hard as you can and you just have to let go. We're gonna have to have a whole separate, real discussion about that. Because yeah. like, so what doesn't get talked about in your journey from the point of someone who's not in your shoes or has never blown up before, mm -hmm. you, you didn't have the right people in place to handle the fame with you. No, not at all. I was by myself. Yeah, and, that's, and it was that, COVID. That isolation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That popularity, that isolation. Yeah. And you're getting these opportunities. And even at the peak of the opportunities, you see less of the numbers of, well, am I actually accomplishing the thing I'm here to do, though? Right. Because money doesn't equate to I'm here to I'm accomplishing the thing I'm here to do. No. It's the person to person. Right. 
And when you lose that, especially when, when we come up with things, we don't come up with things for them to blow up. We come up with things because there is a need or an underserved purpose right. and we can accomplish something here. Right, right. And that that's unfortunate where... Hey man, my heart goes out to you. I yeah. I can only imagine what that was like. It was tough. It was very I mean, because you see you get into competition for your dream, yeah. which is very backwards. Yeah. And so for me, COVID was great. Cause it gave me a chance to not feel like I had to represent being the creator or mm -hmm. be the the top fo foremost yoga teacher or whatever. Yeah. It gave me a chance to get back to understanding that I started doing this to heal myself. Mm -hmm. And if it was no longer serving that purpose and I wasn't doing what I started out to do and I had grown and changed and I had to figure that out. Yeah. You know, and I feel a lot more like now when I see people doing trap yoga or whatever, like before it was like, man, now I'm just really proud and really grateful because what yeah. I realized is that in not getting caught up in the, the trees, I created a forest. Like there are, there is, like I was saying now, like it is crazy to me mm -hmm. that in just being a part of this growth of wellness that I have four other guys that are doing things in completely different places, yeah. but all recognize a need, all can get something done, and all can produce yeah. something like we did. And so, I'm just glad there's a team. Hey, hey man, <laughs> right? And it was just one guy. And so I'm like, look, whatever y'all need, I yeah. can, I can do what I can do. Yeah. Or, you know, I can't do this. And honesty then becomes the baseline of what we're going to do because we've all put in. It's like, I know you have skin in the game. I know mm -hmm. you're doing the real work. I know in work that I know is thankless a lot yeah. of the time, unless you care about the people that are saying thank you, mm -hmm. you know? And I think that, mm, I don't know. It's just really changed my entire perspective on life. Like <laughs> what's ironic is I talked to my partner about this last night. I only got two hours of sleep, by the way. It was, it was crazy. Really. I was so hyped for the interview. Yeah. That for I today. Was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, I guess I'm not going to sleep. Yeah, right. I get like that. Yeah. So <laughs> I, definitely um, I told her what we're doing right now is like our group of men has the highest chance of showing we can build this thing and it already technically has support mm -hmm. and us figuring out what is Lululemon, the mayor's office, and we just need two more companies willing to do to keep what we have going, yeah. and what do we want that to look like? And I was like, and I plan on repurposing it for the all women groups, because I yeah. want to make spaces it of all be. women, yep. Yep. where like, I make the space and I put the people in place and I want to be in there because I want to be a part of the conversation. Right. But eventually I want to remove myself from there and it's something that they keep going yep. and just give them the, okay, this is what we need on the business and for that to work. Yeah. And then the co-ed spaces, what are the concerns? This is what we need for that to work. And these are the sponsorships we need to look to or the branding that we need for it. Mm -hmm. So by the time by the time we get to the end of next year, I want everyone in the city to see these three separate groups and be like, there's a version of this for me that I can that attend. That I can go to. Yeah, please and let I me know. Feel safe. Let me know how to facilitate that. And I can put that. it together. Yeah, so I think the only thing I'm looking for is more women who teach yoga classes. I can help you with that. Right? Yeah. And then I need, I would like more therapists that are women or are men that are comfortable with doing public speaking and want to be a part of the conversations that we're having yeah. and really want to put time towards it. Yeah, so you know those folks. I know the I, I know, know a couple the of women. therapists here and there, but like yeah. folks, there's some folks who were therapists who are no longer therapists. So now I'm like replacing certain therapists that are now accessible. I'm like, hey, do you want to be a part do of this? Do you want to do this? I yeah. have a stronger catalog of women therapists than men therapists, but there's nothing wrong with that. That just means that's who I've been this working with. Just so you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. that's that's really the concerns. And then for the co-ed space, what does facilitating a co-ed space between look mental like. health and wellness look like? Yeah. And also, what's the ideal time frame of putting something together that still keeps it fresh mm. and doesn't make it into a responsibility right. versus a moment of joy? Or I'm glad I was here to receive right. opportunity. That. Yeah, that's it. it's not like a, it's not like a, we gotta go heal the black community. That's it. You know, and I think I think I one I, in in, in understanding everything is everything and not mm -hmm. having to worry about you know bottom line so much and stuff yeah. like that like what yeah. i realized with my business is we make enough what i understood is i make enough to run the business so that's cool so now i can start getting creative mm -hmm. and so what i but what i want to provide yeah 
for my audience is that like I was in the healing I was like I have to do sound baths like why am I not doing these workshops why am I not like before I knew keep going keep that going. I was keep going, going to like it was like I should quote mm -hmm. unquote be doing it but I had no motivation until I realized wow there you have these people they're really there mm -hmm. you know there is a need that you can fill that you do not have to be the one to learn how to fill yes you can hire somebody else yeah. or work with your group and not even get about the money be like hey this mm -hmm. is what we're doing this is this and yeah. you create and, and what I'm learning is to create community and not sell classes you and know build the relationship mm -hmm. figure out what's the ask of the room or what's eventually gonna be the need of the room right. yeah and then figure out, all right, what justifies what we're doing? And if we scale it, what would that look like scaled, right. at scale? Right. Like, create the appeal of people that not only want to work with us, but understand this is the budget that we work with, or this is what we're delivering. Would you like to honestly be a part of that? Mm -hmm. And after you get to the finish line, what would you expect to change about that relationship so we could keep that in mind going right, forward? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And that's what good business is. Good right, business yeah. is having the conversation. Oh, yeah. And like, you don't have to, well, they're tripping because they were asking for too much. No, no they're asking for their value. The other side, yeah. Can yeah, you yeah, deliver yeah. that? Yes or no? And if not, are you able to maintain the relationship even until you after can they're, or, yeah, they're yeah. no longer able yeah. to, um, you know, deliver that? And that like, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Because it, the, there's other things to be done. There's other things to do, you know? Wellness, therapy, and the community. That's how I view everything that we do. And I also understand that, like, it's not our responsibility to do all the things, as you said. Right. We're just supposed to be good at the thing that we claim we're good at. Right. I'm phenomenal at the thing that yeah, I'm doing. right. Same. But I stay yeah. very quiet about it because, yeah. like, no one wants to hear me talk Bragging about what about I'm good it. at. No, they they want to experience it. When I show up, did I deliver? Right. Yeah. The room lets me know whether I delivered or not. Anytime you hear me say I'm great at what I do, yeah. it's because everyone Somebody was like, told "Hey, me. Yep. hey yeah. man, yeah. hey, yeah. you take that show on the road, yeah. boss." Yeah, right. Why hey. are you not doing this here? Yeah. Why are you not? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, well, that takes patience. Like, mm -hmm. I schedule moments of joy in my life so I'm able to be the person that I am to show up and deliver what it is that we do. Right. And I think that that's a, that's a wisdom that I'm yeah. appreciating now and understanding that, that humility that I feel when people introduce me and stuff like that is maintained mm -hmm. and stepped into and that, that acceptance by the work that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And so I, it's not a pride, I think, that I feel, but a kind of a reverence and like a... Like great, being grateful, just being grateful to be able to focus my time on being that person. Yeah. You know, and taking away different things that may seem necessary and even to myself, you know, mm -hmm. like now I'm real. I'm when I tell you I had thought about money for so much in the last 10 years that now I'm so happy to be at the place where I'm like, is it covered? <laughs> like, <laughs> or will it Are be we covered? We good? We good? Yeah. We good? All right, cool. Yeah. We're good. And like, and that be the that'd be enough you yeah. know and like and 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 yeah so yeah I, I think we're at a good good spot i got you well this has been another episode of mental health monday appreciate all the homies for pulling up like sub subscribe comment share yes. all the things yes. do your yoga yes. do your trap yes do your modalities yes. mental health monday see you Breathe. guys later peace Breathe.